You are watching Lester Till I Die TV. Until I die. Good afternoon, good night, good evening, good day, good morning, goodbye. Hello, how are we feeling? Have you seen the team? I was feeling yeah, yeah, a bit 50 50. Now I've seen the team, well, I might as well pack up and go home now. Um, this will probably come back and bite me on the bum and we'll win 3 nil or something. But what the hell? I want to believe in Enzo, but what the fuck is he doing with that team? I am absolutely confused. I'm going to put the team across the bottom, um, which is probably where it deserves to be, to be honest with you. He says, if I can find the team, I did save it. Um, ah, there we go. So the team's going across the bottom. What's going on? I do not know. But how are you? This is LTID TV from Less Until I Die. Thank you for joining us. Whether you are watching on YouTube, and if you are, please feel free to um, comment uh, in the chat. But uh, please remember, keep it respectful, keep it clean. Uh, if you're Leeds fans, look, just behave yourself. That's all I'm going to say. We're getting a bit with you. The nice ones, you're always welcome. The dickheads. Whatever team you support, dickheads are never welcome. It's the 20th of April today. Uh, let me tell you, if you do like your facts and you like your on-your-day uh, facts, do check out our TikTok, LTID TV, our Instagram, Lester Till I Die TV. Both of them carry daily uh, on this day. Uh, I tend not to do them on March Day because I'm otherwise busy, but just to quickly read it out to you. And these were both, funnily enough, Saturdays. Um, now, I've got to say, the first one, we're going back to 1935, so Dave will remember this. Um, <laughs> sorry, Dave, he's in the green room. Uh, there was controversy as Leicester City slipped deeper into relegation trouble in Division 1 following a 1-1 draw at Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, that's not a good omen. 20th of April, 1981. Leicester City were left in deep trouble at the bottom of Division 1 after a 2-1 defeat at relegation rivals Brighton and Hove. They went on to survive. We went on to get relegated. I mean, if you want good omens, neither of those are going to help us, are they, Dave? Good morning. That was a bad day. Morning, Chris. Um, I remember the Brighton one. Yeah, I'm probably a bit slightly too old or young for the, uh, the other one, but... Brighton was about, I think it was foggy that day as well, which didn't help. And they, they, did, they did they did they play at um, their temporary st stadium then? Or was that I have a feeling that they game? would have played, I'll get there, there we go, that yes, they would have played at their racetrack, whatever it was at the time. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, let's just temporary up. stands, yeah. Oh, it, it, well, I felt, look, I, I, I actually like Brighton as a club. Um, yeah, me too. They, where, where they were, no team deserves to be as indeed you know we've been there so i can feel sympathy for them and i'm really yeah. pleased at where they are now uh let's just catch up with a few comments grazing uh my my senior mod here now uh losing today isn't an option no it isn't i don't think it is we've got away with it two weeks running don't think we will um do it again uh and he says, Vard's up front. He is. We'll go through the team in a second. Hi, George. How are you? 
Chowdhury and Fazza on the on the wings. Andreas, hi Chris, hope you well, mate. Very nervous. Will we get all three points? Yeah. I don't know. With this team, I'd want to, but with this team, I don't know. Um, what Leicester team will turn up exactly? Highfields, hello, how are you? Wayne says, take a deep breath. Uh, Spencer, morning, Chris. Yeah, he's changed it, but I think he's made it worse. Um, at least code is in. Uh, and as Gray says there, any dickheads today, you're gone. He does, and he bans. And uh, there we go. Dino is in. Hello, Dino. Um, the team is all fine. Is it? I would argue with that. Um up the cherries in all departments. Got it right, Craig. Hello, mate. Hope you're well. Fingers crossed for you today, uh, even though Carlos is my mate. <laughs> one comment, one name drop, straight in there. <laughs> Boom. I'll give him five minutes to mention um, Ricky from five. Uh, but uh, he, he does he does like his name drop. Um, there we go. Um Fox is, oh my God. Uh, Paul is in. Right. Let's get, let's get everybody saying hello to everybody else then. Right. Let's get to the team. Uh, and here it is. And what I'm going to do, just so people can see it a little bit better, um, this could go all horribly wrong, but it hasn't. Look at this. I'm getting better. Oh, you blimey. Can... You are good at this. You've been having lessons with Brad. <laughs> 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 no, that's why it, it worked. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Brad. <laughs> my he new chum, my new best friend on LTID too. He is, he is. <laughs> I, I tell you what, you could almost give me, let me loose on a radio station, couldn't you? <laughs> touch and go. Touch and go. <laughs> I, won't, I won't tell you about the new section that's coming up on Monday morning. 7 oh, till 10, Surrey Hills Community Radio, everybody. Look, a man sitting in goal. Chowdhury at right back. God help us. Um, Faz, Faz at left back. God help us. If he hasn't got Indeedy with him over there, he's going to struggle. I, I can't see that. Being phase well, phase play. No, we well, have. No, I've seen the lineup yeah, on yeah. LCID. Oh, sorry, oh, on God. LCFC, and they've put mm. him at left back. He's played there before. He's had one okay game, one absolutely fucking shit game, uh, to put it bluntly. I suppose um, it keeps him at the middle, <laughs> and Cody will be there to to sort of marshal him around, which is good news. I mean, we've been calling for Cody, haven't we, for weeks we have, and weeks? We have. And we've and been I... calling for Harry. Um, oh, he's not on, He's not playing. Dennis Pratt. I was hoping Dennis Pratt might be playing. He is on the bench. Now, the bench, I. Yeah. it was all a bit up and down because we didn't know who was injured, did we? You know, because... Well, apparently all of them. Well, <laughs> yes. Um, but look, if Pratt. Sorry, if. if uh, my worry is the speed at the back, to be honest with you. Well, there is um, none, is there? There is I've none. got... I mean, let even Chowdhury. Oh, I, we did have Kate then, but she's gone. Oh, sorry, Kate. No, no, we, no, we, we had her, but she must be struggling with signal again. But look yeah, at I've... that. I mean, um, Doyle and... Sorry, um, I'm looking at the subs there. Vestergaard uh, yeah. and Cody, not the fastest, but at least Cody's got... A brain in his uh, in his head, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah. And Chowdhury, I mean, we knock him, but only because it gets picked at right back. I mean, he's not a right back. It's no. not his fault. He's playing no. out of position. But the point is, Chris, and I was thinking this when you're doing the intros and that. Do we know anything? Because this guy, oh, well, he's not an experienced manager, but he knows a lot about football, and yet he just flies in the path of everything that's logical to me he does um, he does morning kate morning Good missing morning, you kate. how are we doing <laughs> missing you dave how are you and i'd like to oh, say fine. welcome to the chat to bbc's kate blakey <laughs> indeed indeed i bow down to you She'll fit <laughs> we know why you would <laughs> <laughs> it's not even midday yet guys come on I know. Oh, no. <laughs> we've only been on the air 10 minutes. Kate, whilst <laughs> we've got you, and it looks like a, a reasonably nice day over there. Hey, it's um, chilly, but it's fair, yeah. Banana61 said, happy with this lineup. I am far from happy with this lineup. Is it just me? Your thoughts on it? Uh, I'm not far from happy, but I'm 
far from Hamza happy. <laughs> That's the biggest worry for me. I don't understand if Ricky's on the bench, why he's not starting. I don't yeah. get that logic at all. Uh, that's my only concern, really. I'm glad to see Cody come in. Um, I don't, don't know who's going to be on the left. That's up for debate. And I know you hate Fast being on the left, yeah. well, he, but he hasn't he exactly been the... great on the right either. No, but he is, he is actually on the left. We've got Doyle and we've got Justin both on the bench. If neither of them are 100% fit, surely they've got 45 minutes each in them. If they're, if they're on the bench, that's got to be better than Fez, who isn't brilliant in the centre. He's even fucking worse on left back or left wing, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't know. I mean, I know Enzo said before, which is my biggest concern, he's mentioned about not dropping players or for confidence issues. Now, I don't really care about their confidence. Um, if Fass hasn't been good enough, he hasn't been good enough, and Cody deserves a start. He's not a second rate player. Cody's a, a former England squad member. Um, so I'd much rather just see him come in and fast get drops. I don't care about Fast's sentiments, to be honest. If he's not good enough, he's not good enough. That's the nature of the game. But yeah, the Hamza position bothers me because it's a really responsible position. And I don't think he can handle it. No, and if Ricky's no. on the bench, he must be fit. So put him on for the first 45 and see how we go. That would be my view. But I'm glad to see Dakar's not starting for his own good, like we've said in the week. And I think, again, Enzo's mind games are coming out because he... I never quite believe when he says people are doubtful. I think he just manages Vardy and shuts the conversation down sometimes by saying he's injured or doubtful when he's probably not. So, yes. yeah, we'll see what happens. But glad to see KDH in the squad. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a team that's good enough. We know it's good enough, but it's whether they can all pull together and yeah, sing from the same hymn sheet. In the last six games, but only were in two of them. Say it again, sorry, I missed that. The team that, should have, that was good enough in the last six games but actually only were good enough in two of them. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just not been good enough, has it? So I'm hoping Cody can bring a bit of that experience in today. You know what? We need someone who turns around and bollocks people on the pitch when they're not up to scratch. And that's what we really need. And I'm, I know Cody's been really vocal before when I've seen him play a few times. That's what we need. Um, or calling people to cover. I mean, Hamza and Fast do need childminding sometimes. So maybe he's the one to come in and do it. And Vestergaard runs up the pitch. Uh, as we know, that's his role. Faze also does. Um, Cody tends to hang back a little bit. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I think he likes to sort of view from afar. He likes to see the setup in front of him so he knows what's happening all the time with every player. That's, that's experience for you, isn't it? Um, it is. So, yeah, it, it might relieve the pressure on Vestergaard a bit today in that sense. He's not on his own in that sense. He's got Cody to be a complete partner. Um and but yeah, we've got we've got to score. We've got to score. That's been the issue. I'm not. We're going to concede it. We're going to concede one. We're not good at keeping clean sheets. I can cope with that. But we're, we're just not scoring those chances. That's the biggest problem. It, it is. I mean, this is completely. I I change things around totally, one hundred percent. I had um, Ricardo in. I had Doyle in, and I had Cody and Vestergaard. They were my my back. I dropped Jewsby Hall because yeah. I don't think he's been he's been good enough. Uh, I'd also dropped Indeedy and I'd bought Pratt and Eunice in because you know Eunice he just runs at teams. And also, in fairness, I'd actually dropped Fatou and Mavadidi. Um, and I had Vardy up front. Okay. I had Ian Atchu just off him. <laughs> Have you? I think what Kate's trying to say is he actually I... put the second eleven out. <laughs> Have I what, sorry? She, she's like Kate's in shock or she's uh, signal's gone. <laughs> I think your signal's gone, but probably in shock sorry. as well. In I've there. made a few changes no. there. She's doing a Chris on a Monday night, yeah? It, it, <laughs> it, it, <laughs> no, she's doing what you want. She's gone down, I think. Hey, steady, boy, hey. steady. <laughs> uh, I think Kate's gone. If we get her back, we'll try and get. Um, um they got Wi Fi in Leicester. <laughs> well, data. Once you get the near the ground, they turn it off so nobody can complain. Um, Actually, that's it. they do. It's rubbish, isn't it? I know it is. That. It is absolutely. Yeah. They don't have any Wi Fi in the stadium at all. Uh, no. Bradley's with us, he's joined us. Uh, but uh, no. Dave, let me just, you, 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 you poked up then on, on my changes. Yes, I did make a lot of changes, um, but the team have been shit, so it needed it. Brad? 
No, that was huge. Uh, uh, I was going to say that that was a very good answer, Dave. Calling my name for the answer, but he asked you. <laughs> talking, so, I thought he was talking to somebody who knows what they're on about. Um, wow. Well, no, yeah, Kate's gone. Well, to be honest, Chris, <laughs> changes needed making a month ago. Yeah. You know, when it first started going on, now he's almost too late to make wholesale changes. I mean, Cody, at least with Cody, he'll either get have a blinder or get sent off because he must be as frustrated as we all are that he's not been playing. Um, and sometimes, you, you imagine Walsh coming on after he's been left out of the team for about 10, 15, 20 games. He kills somebody. Yeah. And, you know, and that's the fear of that. And DD, poof. I don't know with Ndidi now because he started off brilliant. He was playing that great forward role, late running role, but people have sussed it now. As soon as he moves forward, he's blocked off and shut down. Mm. Um, I'm not sure he's he's fit. Um, I'm not. It's also comments about Ndidi are weird because some people say he can't play that role, but I think he can because he was so good at it. Yes, when we no, started he until he got until he got injured. Yeah, he definitely can. He hasn't been hundred yeah. percent since he's come back, and no, but he no. wasn't before when when he was injured and then came back and under uh, under he who must not be mentioned. Um, no, but the problem is nobody gets any service up there now. Mavadidi no. gets the ball, does the same thing. Same happens um, with Fatou. They get the ball, they do the same thing every time, and then Vardy's just going around, put his thumbs up at people saying good try. We've got to give Vardy the ball. Also, there's no point in being on the pitch. No, I can't no. think. I can't think. Lorenzo wants him to come back and get the ball because well, you know, he's had all his all his strikers doing that. But but, uh, it, but uh, Vardy's too old to do that now. Yeah, well, he's yes, I, I would agree. He, yeah, he put the ball in the net. That's what you we are talking. You are talking a bit too much sense here, Dave. Have you been uh, sorry with somebody? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I've, I've, got got you me in our show. I've got the special That's mug today. I've got the special mug today, so. I thought Cassie had it. gone out. Hey. Oh. No, he's been he's been he asked to steal my notes last night after the show. So I said, I hey, I know, so if what? you say this, yeah. you sound intelligent and Chris won't know what to do. Is, yeah, is, but you said not, you wouldn't tell him. Camera working, uh, Brad. Uh it should be now. There yes. we go. There no, we not, go. Not, not, yeah. not a pleasant view you want of me, but there you go. Well, yeah. very, very, very um I don't know, a rose, a rose between two thorns. Look, I was making a lot of changes, Brad. Um, some of them have come in, but I mean, I gotta say, I am I am 120 and I, I please Enzo prove me wrong. I'm 120% deflated at that line. I know you've got a special Did, Didn't we do something not to <laughs> Didn't, I, got, oh, what, what God, I remember having one of them as a kid. God, I remember like bed <laughs> oh, what, oh, God, what? <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Actually, it's my daughter's, but she didn't want it yeah. when she grew up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got all the gear out today. Even it's I had that film dog, you know. bed set. <laughs> God, Bennett, that's, that's an old one, that. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a little bit confused with Kate because unless... Unless he was just going three at the back and he's going like you know five in midfield, I don't understand it. You've got yeah, I could no, I could understand if oh, Carly was was not fully fit or, or not fit at all to play. I could understand if JJ was still out injured and we only had Doyle and Doyle was still recovering. You know, if we had all three of them that just weren't able to the team whatsoever, then it's like make do with what you've got. Fine, but didn't we? But they're all on the bench. Mm. We know Doyle and JJ, it's as far as to my knowledge, are perfectly fine, one hundred percent fit. So, what? what why well, isn't at least what one of them playing? Because we know what Chowdhury so likes to do. Chowdhury, yeah, but Dave Chowdhury does this on the right. He starts off here, and he goes all nice uh, and fine, and and then, and then and then they get the ball, and they get the ball. Over on the other side, and he just disappears and leaves everything. So I am a little worried. He could do Ndidi's job, couldn't he? If he's playing in midfield, which according to this site he is. Well, the, the, the thing is, Dave, one site will have it as a flat line out, how yeah, they yeah, yeah. Are, and the three, other, the three, other one will show you how they're going to have I it in the pool. I was just looking then on um, the Leicester City um, channel, and they've got it as our normal, our normal. Um, Set up, but with Faze on the left and Chowdhury on the right. 
the, the thing is, the thing is, it's not like there's a um, it's not like we're looking at a lineup and going, oh well, why has he put two midfielders at the back? Surely that's not a five at the back. You know, we're not sat here going, oh, you know, he's put I don't know McAteer in there with Chowdhury or something because you know McAteer actually started his career as a as a left back, I believe, or he right. Did. Oh, I remember watching him in the first uh, warm up game. I think it was against Northampton. And he was absolutely brilliant, and he was playing that Mavadidi role. To me, yeah. Dave, when I look at this lineup, I think it's almost like we have got going to have to have a bench full of youth players because we haven't got enough. So let's just stick anybody in where they may have played the odd game here and there. That's not a team that is going to go out and win today. I, well, I hope I think, I'm wrong. Yeah, I hope you are because I think if we play three four three, which this um, site is suggesting. Then that could work because Chowdhury you should stop, be able to you protect. Stop taking face. your 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 details off Pornhub, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Flash Score who are slightly more reliable, apart from their commentary <laughs> than anyone else. In fairness, though, Chowdhury will play that midfield role when needed, and then he should yeah. play that right back role. Well, it not... would cover. It would cover well, face unless yeah. unless they get the ball, Chris. Then obviously we know Flash. he'll be by the penalty spot, letting someone get him behind him. Well, yeah, he don't forget true. he played pretty well when he came back and played in midfield, didn't he? Yeah. When we I thought, mean, I mean, this is a midfield on. role, is it? This is a role where, yes, it's midfield, but he's it's... got to come back and do his defending. If he, if we bring him on as an as an enforcer, with you know maybe twenty minutes to go and we're holding on to a one 0 and we want that extra bit of you know force in midfield, that's what he is bloody brilliant at. This is just bloody shit at. Well, he's in. I don't even be in midfield. And I think linking between him and what would it be, uh, Fatima? We've not maybe? done that all Who season, knows? Dave, have we? Well, we've done. We haven't played Cody all season, hardly, apart from right. cup games. Well, I mean, Brad, you you be the deciding vote. You see, I'm saying he's midfield to come back right back, which is what yeah. LCFC is showing. Uh, Dave thinks he's more midfield. You have the There's... you have the casting vote here. There's no way Faze is the same on the other side. He's going to be a midfielder that becomes a right back, and Faze will be the same because Faze likes to get forward. Um, so I'm with you, Chris. He's going to he's going to be inverted winger, go so far forward, and then he's going to be told right, get your defensive mind head on, because there's no way you're doing that with Faze. There's no way you're allowing Faze to play him. Although saying that picks up the ball in a half way line, he might run into their net with the ball sometimes with his yeah. Maisie runs, doesn't he? he might, maybe but, he is. But, you know, the, the one thing I that, will say, the one thing I will yeah. say is today we're either going to sit here and go hands up, fair play, and so that was genius. Yeah. Or we're going to be yeah. sat here going, be careful what we wish for, because mm. Chris and I know, I know, me and you had a big a discussion about this, and we kind of made the same sort of changes in our lineup. We we took out the wingers because we're up, we, we feel we're too obvious down them sides and that. But we asked for a plan B. We've definitely got one with this lineup, even if it is just from the back. It is. It, is it a plan B though, or is it just the well, plan? That's A? I mean, we'll see that, won't we? It'll either it fail miserably playing three at the back, or it'll work wonders. That's the only yeah. thing you can see because the extra centre back in there requires us to play at least I mean, three at the back. To be fair, well, defensively, we've played. We've played three at the back a lot, haven't we? And uh, we've had Ricky playing in what I think it, what Chowdhury's playing in, and that's worked pretty well. Where he's just well, I, I can tell you this now. I can tell you this now. Just to stop you a second, I can tell you this now. Sorry, hang on. City have it. Just come up on the screen here. Let's have it. Four, four, on the four, left. Four. Chowdhury is on the yeah. right. Winks is in midfield. Um, um, so Faze is playing the Justin Doyle role, Chowdhury is playing the Ricardo role, Winks just in front of them, Dewsbury Hall and indeed just ahead of Winks, the two wingers and Vardy up front. So it is that formation. Yeah, I just yeah. that's literally what I was trying to. Oh, was it? Was sorry, this... Brad. Sorry. No, no, that's all right, that's, mate. I wanted to show. get it out before it went off the screen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why I was trying to say it to you as well. I was like, no, oh, Chris, 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 <laughs> and then you saw it, which is good. Uh, no. Craig, um, Craig, sorry, Dave. Gray says here straight for the jugular. I mean, that team. It's like um, Dracula, who's who's set off for the night without his dentures in, isn't it? <laughs> well. I hope not. I mean, uh, <coughs> they owe us a big performance, don't they? Um, mm. And at least Vardy's playing. 
Yes. Oh, God, yeah. Don't start that say. off, Dave. I mean, yeah. one, one, one thing I will say is they've got to get it right today, haven't they? No matter how <laughs> the team is. Because I know we've done many of shows on this from 10 games down. We're down to, well, Leicester are down to four. Other teams are down to three, as we know, Chris. These are the next, these next two games, right? And I know people say, oh, no, Brad, all four of them are big games. If you look at the psychology of the table and you look at third spot, right? This game and the game in hand against Southampton must win. Yeah. Because I do not want to be playing Southampton going, please win Leicester because we need it just to get back in the top two. Yeah. I want to get to Southampton at home, Chris, and be going there going, this could literally seal our promotion. Yes. Yeah. Psychologically, well, it would. It obviously depends that. what other teams do as yeah. well. Yeah, um, but obviously, even if Leeds win, yeah. if we win and yeah, four no, I get, I, I, get what, I do get what you're saying. Um, yeah. I mean, Dave, um, I forgot what I was going to say now. That that is the table. I'm sorry, I have I have criticised um, some of Enzo's choices and what have you as we've gone through the season. But I've always said, look, stick by him. This is a, a long term. His goal wasn't to actually get promotion this year. His goal was to take us up within a couple of seasons or two seasons. Yeah, However, yeah. with that lineup, if we lose today, I will have to say I will start to question Enzo's position at this club. Well, we're in the playoffs. <laughs> That's what we hope well, for. Well, we were 17 points clear in December. Well, yeah, you know how, and, and you know this is just how. it's just this team. Do you know what I mean? But I'm just going to go through this with you now. Bear with me, guys, because this was done before Southampton played Preston. Uh, according to Opta Supercomputer, Leicester's chance Opta obviously the FA's um, uh, stat that they, 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 they're all over the stats. Sorry, Brad, you might want to go for a wee while I do this. Well, <laughs> he doesn't like stats. Uh, according to the Opta Supercomputer, Leicester's chances of promotion have taken a slight hit, but they remain favourites with an 85.7% likelihood of going up. Not bad for a team that lost three of their last five games. The game in hand over Leeds and Ipswich is likely helping them retain their favourites tag for now. Leicester will be champions if they win out. They can currently reach 100 points, the most of any team. So no other team can reach 100. Uh, I'm not confident that we will at the moment. They'll be guaranteed automatic promotion if they win three of their remaining four games. Ipswich will be automatically promoted if they win all three of their remaining matches, uh, while two wins and a draw will be enough if both Leeds and Saints drop a single point. As those, I hope you're paying attention. It'll be tested afterwards. As Sorry, those no, two, no. I'm, with Brad. I'm, just saying I'm, that just I'm just looking for the answer book. That's why I'm off camera. As those two clubs play each other on the final day, at least one of them is guaranteed to do so. Leeds must first hope the clubs above them slip up and must, of course, likely beat Southampton on the final day. While Saints' relevance to the automatic race depends on the games in hand. They obviously beat Preston at home, which puts <laughs> them back into the mix. And, of course, they've got us away um, at um, the King Power on Tuesday the 23rd. The latter will, of course, dictate the Fox's own chances of going straight up. It's as clear as bloody mud, isn't it, really? Uh, as I wrote, and if you do follow um, the BBC uh, Leicester City page, so the bbc.com forward slash lcfc.com, um, .co.uk, sorry. Um, ah. Then, <laughs> then uh, as I put, if you are a neutral, this is an absolutely amazing end to the season. Unfortunately, I'm not a neutral. <laughs> That's what that what is what annoys me. I think forget it's all just, the stats, forget everything, Chris. We we got to win, win three games. We have, all, we have but, but why hasn't he therefore put a team out that can do that? Well, I hope maybe he has. Wrong. I hope yeah, at the end of the has. game that you two are coming back on here and going, Chris. You know, f all about football, and I'll go. I quite agree with you. I think uh, Chowdhury's no, football football anyway. No, we don't know anything. Chowdhury's in. We don't know anything. Pop Pratt in it because. Dennis Pratt's not a defender as such, is he really? Although he does work back. But I think Dennis Pratt deserves a start. I really do. Um, he's done nothing wrong when he's come on. He's, he makes yeah. those chances by by the byline. He you know gets the ball in. And Hamza doesn't do that. Hamza's a defensive midfielder. Well, do, Harry Winks do, is that. Do you know what? This is going to sound crazy because it's me. It always does. 
<laughs> I would. I would have actually looking at that lineup. I would have preferred <laughs> on the right hand side. I would have preferred Fatawu being chucked at right back for the amount of defensive work he does. Yes, and I'd have stuck someone like yeah. Albrighton on the right for crossing the ball. Yeah. In. Well, we mentioned his him, defensive we? work is good. He's actually that good that he gets in the way of Ricky P sometimes. In fact, that's yeah. his only downside is sometimes he's, he's so determined to win the ball yeah. back that he doesn't really yeah. raise his teammates. If he's got nice. no right back in his way, I mean, that's good we did call, it with Ricky yeah. P. Can't we just do the reverse for Fatawu? You know, yeah. Ricky P goes... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean... But then Trav, we don't live or I mean, die by the decision. Jewsby mm. Hall isn't... Um, firing all, on all cylinders and neither is Ndidi. Why not play Pratt and Eunice in those roles? Now Eunice, yep, I saw him at Bournemouth, he couldn't hit a barn door with a banjo. But what he did was actually run at their defence, not fought about on the edge of the box. He actually went at Bournemouth's defence and they didn't tackle him because um, they didn't want to bring him down and that was the danger. If he'd had his shooting boots on, who knows what we could have done, you know. Um, but there, 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 there we go. I mean, we're all we're all managers, aren't we? Yeah, well, we can only, we can only um, trust in it. So I've got to say, I mean, okay, Vardy starts, and you know, you know, whatever happens, even if he only has one touch, he'll run round like the drawer cell bunny. Um, what has Dacker done wrong not to be in? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, everybody, well, I, I am joking. I, what I wouldn't be surprised. Cannon? Well, after 70 minutes to see Cannon come on, yeah, or 75, yeah. his usual time. But I, I thought McAteer, if he's fit, deserves a go. I mean, he's yeah. not. Yeah, he had yeah. a couple of bad games, didn't he? But he was injured. Um, mm. So, you know, I'd be tempted to throw him into it. I mean, could you um, say that McAteer's become the Chowdhury um, to what Brendan Rodgers, you know, you know what Chowdhury yeah, was possibly. to Brendan Rodgers? He played him at the start. He had a little injury. Well, he didn't have a little injury. He had a bit. Of, he had an injury that became a niggle that lasted a bit longer. Yeah, yeah. Talked him up, blew smoke up his ass, as you said, Chris. Was practically yeah. calling him the next, uh, you know, Scottish Rob. You know, the next England's Robinson. You know, next most Salah on the wing. Mm. Hasn't 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 even got a chance off the bench to come on for the likes of Fatawu and change things up the I way think, it is. I think managers are scared to put youngsters in in, in case it's wrong. They then why, well, then, then why name a bench full of them? Well, mm. that's what I say, but you know, I think you're scared have, of them. Why are they on the team? Line? And, and, right, and yeah. if Daka, look, we know, I mean, I think again, he's gone with his heart here. Daka shouldn't actually even be in the squad today. Now, that's me, no. you know, <laughs> that's me saying that about Daka. I'm no, sorry, you drop Daka, give him time off, whatever, a uh, couple of games, these two games, sticky and Acho in there. Uh, yeah, and, I mean, what's he done apart from the contract? Offers, what's he done wrong? Well, it is just the contract, I think. But what Ian Acho all Brighton. is something. All Brighton. Well, exactly. But what Ian Acho, what well, we're still talking about Ian Acho, what, what he's done, I don't know. But what he offers us is something that Daka Cannon and Vardy don't. Yeah. Mm. That my, my my thing comes back to this, and it's actually good that Dave's brought up all Brighton, funny enough, that thing. I just wonder if, because of the time we're out of the season, if the club and the players have sat down with these out-of-contract players and someone like Albrighton, who has admitted in an interview that he doesn't know if he's going to be here next season, he doesn't know his situation, but he's happy to keep going, whether Leicester have told him, look, we don't know, we're not too sure, depends where we are next year, we want you to be playing, but we want to give you the best career to the end of your career. You can. He's gone, look, I'm here to help. I want to get us promoted. If you offer me a new contract, a new season, so be it. If you don't, that's fine as well. I just want to do well for Leicester. And that's maybe why. Whereas I, I feel like that could be the same for Indeed. You get always getting into the team. And I know it's not right, and but there is no right situation mm. in this for a manager or a board. I wonder if Indeed he's gone, get us, let's get promoted. I'll sign a two-year contract as soon as we're promoted. I'll sign an extension so you can either get some money for me or keep me here. I'm happy to do yeah. it. I want to get us promoted. And maybe Ian actually has gone, I don't think I'm going to be here either way because I'm not going to get the game time I need now. I'm in my, I'm in my prime of my career at his age, which he is. And I just wonder if Ian actually has gone, I want to, but my head and heart's not fully in it. And I know that sounds horrible to say, but imagine being in that situation where you're deciding 
on your future and you're thinking, well, it doesn't matter if Leicester go up or not. I'm still not going to get the football I want. I need to be thinking of my future and going elsewhere. And Enzo's gone, well, your head's in that space, mate. I can't pick and play you. So whether fans like it or not, or maybe he doesn't, I'm not saying he doesn't like it, but maybe whether he wants to keep Dakar out of the limelight or not, he has to put him on the bench. Like, that, that's, that's Brad Short answer. It uh, is actually. <laughs> right, it is. Can, can I just um, throw something in there? No, let me just sorry, just before you do, Dave. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 you go first, actually, because I, okay. I'm going to change the subject in a second. I've got to go switch telly on in a minute. Um, yeah, it's very quick. Maybe, just maybe, it's the wrong time to get promoted. Because if we're going to go up, we're going to lose points. That's pretty clear. we mm. possible chance of coming back down again, which will destroy the club even more. And we've got youngsters coming through. Just maybe it's... Another year in the championship. I mean, it, is, it has been fun, hasn't it? Even in bad and good ways. But another year in the championship with the youngsters coming in, let Ndidi go. Vardy will probably have to retire or maybe not. Give these guys a chance. Like, you know, well, he's, 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 Pierce he's, said he it has... took two years for Nigel to get us up, yeah, didn't it? It did. And just, just, a know, thought, look, just a thought. Burnley going up too soon. Well, um, yeah. Sheffield United. So, yeah. Um, financially, we need to go up. Um, I think EFL will come down really, really hard on us if we don't. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but then again, we will start up, next down. season on minus points. That's the thing. Um, what I was going to say was, Dave, before you go, then can I just take your score prediction? Um, can't remember. You remember, Brad? Okay, I'll come back to you. Oh, um, 3 1. 3 1, Leicester. 3 1. Yeah. Just recently, all the players had a meeting, uh, apparently, mm. um, and to, to talk about the, the situation. Um, I mean, thank God we did have that good start. Otherwise, God knows where we'd be now. Uh, and it's not just Leicester these things happen to. I, I've, I've often quoted Newcastle when they had that. They were miles ahead of Man United and they, 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 they got caught back. Fortunately, it does does happen. Um but uh, the points deduction, Gray, is just from it's not a, a, an EFL points deduction at the moment, it's just a Premier League one. So, um, we won't get a points deduction, but we'll possibly get uh transfer embargoes fines if we don't go up. But it is a very good point, you know. Lest I don't think he expected us to be in this position because they did give him a uh, you know, a couple of years to, to, to do that. Uh, yeah. We're just ahead of schedule. Um, last time we were ahead of schedule, obviously, we went on and won the Premier League, but hey-ho. Uh, <laughs> Brad, very quickly, um, score prediction from yourself. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to change it from the line-up. Uh, I, went with, uh, I went with the same as Dave. I went 3-1. 3-1. Guys, now, Chris, have, you, have so you added this to one of your 97 draws you gave me over the predictions? <laughs> not, excuse me, where are you in the table? <laughs> Uh, I don't care for it. No, 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 until no, you no, take no, that no, business no. idea up. Where nice are to see you, you boys. Like... Catch you at half time. <laughs> how, how, many, how many predictions league have you won? I've... Anyway, oh, I will yeah. see you. I will see you. <laughs> two. Was that two, Brad? I'll see you at <laughs> half time, guys. Thanks very much. Yeah, all right, mate. Take, take it care. easy. Cheers. Oh, dear. You know, you can't get the staff these days. Um, you really, really can't. OK, I went for a few draws. I went for a few draws in the Prediction League. And if they all come off, um, Brad will be eating poo, I'll tell you. Um, Jim, right. So uh, I haven't got Kate's... Oh, have I got Kate's prediction? No, she can't get a signal. I was trying to get her prediction off her, but I can't do that at the moment. So... Um, I've gone 2-1 to Leicester. That was pre this. Um, I've got to be honest with you, looking at this lineup, I think we could lose. It could be, it could be 2 1 the other way. But I am going to, um, but just to confirm here, I have written down there, uh, as you can see, 2 1 I've gone for, uh, which is the second one there. But with this lineup, it could be 2 1 um, to West Bromwich Albion with this lineup. Okay. Uh you just heard Dave and Brad both went 3-1 there. Uh Craig from Bournemouth went 2-0. Ben went 2-2. Jeff 2-1. John uh 2-1. Phil 2-2. Uh Banana went 3-1. Uh 
Let's hope we don't slip up a banana. See what I did there. Uh, Stefan's gone 1-1. One, one. Highfield's 1-0. One, Ronald 3-1. Jim 3-1. Everybody thinks we're going to be winning. Uh, let's hope all you guys are right. Um, and we will see uh, where, where we go. Uh, Pia is in. Um, welcome back. Uh, well, I hope this and that got sorted. Uh, I really, really do. This is the watch along. Um, we will be back literally in two seconds as soon as I have done this. This is the Lester Till I Die Watch Along Show. Join in the chat and don't forget to subscribe. This is the Lester Till I Die Watch Along Show. Join in the chat and don't forget to subscribe. Is the Lester Till I Die Watch Along Show. Join in the chat and don't forget to subscribe. I will love it if we beat them. Love it. Well, indeed. Let's, uh, let's hope there's some loving going on. Um, so, Hermanson in goal. Right back, Chowdhury. Left is Faze. Cody and Vestergaard in the centre. Winks just in front of them. Uh, Fatua and Mavadidi on the wings with Ndidi and Jusby Hall in the centre. Vardy up front. A lineup which should win, uh, but it's a lineup uh, apart from Cody that we've tried before and we've struggled with it. So, you know, let, let I just wonder where Enzo is coming from with this one. Uh, excuse me while I just. I'm still here. I'm just going to. Um, I've just stuck something on the wrong place, which is a very good thing to do. Okay, so if I go there, and then I can stick my sticker there, just so I know where to point the camera. There we go. Um, yeah, um, 4213, West Brom have gone there, going for it. They can still be caught in the playoffs, obviously. Um, so nothing's, nothing's guaranteed. Um, I've got to say that, obviously, this is a watch-along. My timer will be put up when we kick off. Um, if you give any spoilers of any description, even as a joke, before I say it, and you can see what time I'm on in a second, Jeff, uh, sorry, uh, Gray will kick you out. He has permission. So you do it at your own risk, even if you think you're being funny. And if you talk to me... And I don't reply. It's because I'm trying to watch the game. And they're all singing, am I smiling at the moment? When you're smiling has been sung away there. Yeah, so don't keep going on. If I don't reply to you, it's because I'm not looking at the chat. Um, Adele is in. Hello. Luke is in. Hello. Um, so here we go. West Brom, we're going to kick off. Some of the players are taking the knee. I've got to be said, mainly West Brom players. So the baggies kick off. The baggies, um, kicking uh, from right to left, uh, in this half. So they're kicking towards the cop. Uh, they are in their uh, home or normal strip of blue and white stripe tops, white uh, socks and shorts. Uh, Leicester 
in their all blue home kit are going to be well, they're kicking from left to right so uh we'll see how we go nervous tense nervous headache too bloody true <laughs> so playing it across the back chowdhury's got chowdhury's in the center actually cody is is out on this right and it's a throw into Leicester just inside the. I oh know they're swapping now. Um, five man midfield now, West Brom have got, which uh, I guess you can understand why. Uh, Trying to block Leicester out, I guess. Of course, this is the early kickoff. Uh, we are playing first. It hasn't helped us over the last few weeks, let's be honest. Uh, but we've got West Brom. Uh, Leeds United are away at Middlesbrough. Oh, Jewsby Hall gives the ball away. Oh, my fucking God. Get the ball away. Oh, inside the box. Just inside the box. After one and a half minutes. It's not, it's just saying it's uncharacteristic. Not of recent, it hasn't been. Anyway, Jews be all on the ball. He's got a chance to make immediate amends. Oh, if we indeed he tried to get the ball through there to uh, to Fataru on this side, that would have been a lovely move. KDH to Vardy, back to Indeedy, who, who played a poor ball. Again, a poor ball. These are the players that I said we should be dropping. You watch, they'll go and score now and I'll go mad. But then again, that's the nature of the beast, isn't it? Faz now, don't like him on the left. Mavadidi. Winks has got the ball. Goes back into our own half and best of guard. I don't think there's any change. Different players, but same formation. So, Fatawu comes in middle, tries to go past two players. Obviously, didn't work, uh, but he does get a free kick out of it. I am I am ready for later as soon as I finish my brew. I've got my drink there. That that by the way was brought back to me uh from Spain, I think it was. It keeps your drinks cooler when you take them out the fridge. Keeps them keeps them cooler longer. So Winks now over the ball, I think, with the free kick. Winks chops it into the box. Fast wins the header, but just heads it to a West Bromwich Albion player. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? Faz actually fair play to Faz, got back and tackled because indeed he couldn't. Oh, Mavadidi just he goes forward and leaves the ball behind him. So just coming up to five minutes of the first half gone. Played out to this left-hand side. Uh, left-hand side, obviously, for West Brom, right-hand side for Leicester. It's more central now. Just passing around the... Outside the box. Now they go forward, West Brom. Oh, got in the way, though, Leicester. They're playing it around again. It looked nice, but it was very, very risky. They got away with it. Oh, Vardy's offside. Lovely ball through to Vardy there, but he was offside. I mean, a player of Vardy's experience shouldn't be going offside, should he? Should 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 we? No, indeed, indeed, he, to my mind, shouldn't be playing. It's 
So KDH. Held on to the ball too long. KDH lost it again. Chowdhury. Free kick. Indeed, Ian KDH. Can't pass wind at the moment. Yeah, that was a free kick. Chowdhury there, doing his job in midfield. On the halfway line, West Brom take the kick. It's back into their own half. Remember West Brom going from right to left. Uh, they're, they're kicking from the south to the north. Yeah, just made the point that this could be a playoff match. I mean, I've got to be honest with you, West Brom, of course, are not guaranteed another free kick there. Vestergaard now given a free kick away. Uh, yeah, there, there's no guarantee, no guarantee that uh, West Brom will be in the playoffs. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure. Did he? Let's have a look at the different angle. Oh, no. Cheated there, the West Brom player. Oh. Well, don't think he's holding his head, the West Brom player. I mean, what was the referee doing there, for fuck's sake? This referee, I think, might annoy me. Yes, he is. He is playing awful so far. What is Vestergaard doing? Passes it back to Hermanson. Winks back to Manson, who boots it long and up and forward, but it only meets the head of a West Bromwich Albion player. Now KDH is free. Oh, Vardy, um, heavy touch. Now, I'll tell you what, if that had been Dakar, everybody would have been going fucking mad. That was awful from KDA, uh, from Vardy there. Awful. Dakar would have controlled that. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I said that. So... So, good through ball. Oh, no, it's not. Cody there. Again, that experience. Didn't panic. Just stuck his foot out. Stopped the ball going through. Oh, Mavadidi now is offside. I mean, that's a few offsides. <laughs> now, now, Jeff, Paul. But it would. No, what I'm saying is, as I always say, Daka wouldn't have controlled that, but he would have just got the shit. Where, oh, it's Vardy. Unlucky Vardy. That's a free kick to West Brom. So, West Brom now turned to play it uh, back to the goalkeeper. God, he's uh, playing it, trying to chase people down. Now he's given up. <laughs> I don't know, John. 
yeah, a free kick. Fataru was oh, quickly taken. Fataru was fouled. Vestergaard over to Faz on the far side, on the left hand side. A poor ball, poor ball to KDH. Oh, ball in there from West Bromwich Albion, but it was straight down Matt Hermanson's neck. So we are 11 minutes in, um, and I've so far counted five, five bad passes. And we give the ball away again, so it's West Bromwich Albion. Good tackle by Vardy. He didn't get the pass he wanted. Chased the ball back, put his foot in. That's what Vardy does give you. Faz out to Jewsby Hall on the far side. If only, if only everybody else could show that sort of uh, fighting spirit. He is a leader by example, Jamie Vardy. Very much a Beckham type captain. Thank you, Paul. Very nice of you to say that. So, a Manson. West Bromwich Albion players being encouraged to, uh, to press forward. Cody Chowdhury. Fatawu. Back to Chowdhury. Vestergaard in the centre circle. Back to Chowdhury. He's quite central. Cody moving over to the right and he gets the ball here off a of West Bromwich Albion deflection. Chips it up and long. Jewsby Hall doesn't quite get it. It doesn't really fall for Leicester and it's back with West Bromwich Albion. Oh, Wallace. It's free down that far side. Faz is running back. Oh! Chowdhury off the line! Wow! That should have been 1-0 to West Brom. That will, that will give the West Brom a way uh, fans for it to shout about. It was a, that was probably the best move of the game. It was a good goal line clearance from Chowdhury. Oh, this time, this time Hermanson saves. So it's West Brom at the moment that are on top. Brilliant defending or panic defending, Gray? Uh, I think that that they're just showing that this shot early that Cody got off the that Chowdhury got off the line, and it was that lack of pace, lack of pace showing in the defence. But fair play to Chowdhury. He did very, very well there. That was a poor corner. That was Leicester like that corner. Um, 
Now Leicester being cheered on by the crowd. Remember, Ipswich aren't playing this weekend due to Coventry being in the cup final. Southampton kick off against Cardiff at three. And uh, obviously, like we've said before, Leeds are way to Middlesbrough. So not an easy game for Leeds, especially with Leeds' current form. Oh, Vardy there. Lovely ball all the way through to Vardy. Yeah. Don't just do that, Vardy. Get a better header in. Uh, yeah, so Leeds, if, if they do if they do win this, um, West Brom, Leeds have got a long wait to mull over the fact that they'll need to win it. Leicester fans looking quite nervous. Don't forget, Sunday night at 7, we've got an extra show. We're doing a Southampton preview. Uh, we've got Jack coming on for Match Day Vlogs. Uh, Semi-final, yeah. And of course, Monday night, seven o'clock, we'll have Kate back. And uh, so let well, no, it's 7 30 start. Sorry, Monday night, 7 30, because Kate is on the BBC. Um, oh, the free here on this, this left hand side. Oh, we've got problems down our right. So much space they're getting down this right hand side. Chowdy was in the fucking middle. What was he supposed to do? He's supposed to be covering that left. So sorry, Monday, Monday at 7:30. So let's talk Leicester with uh, myself, uh, Dave, obviously was on here, and Kate. And Fataru shot, but there's one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight defenders back for West Bromwich Albion. Um, and we're going to be talking uh, at 7.30 Monday night, let's talk Leicester debate show, the FA Cup. Oh, we're seeing the death knell of the FA Cup with this latest uh, proposal from the FA. No replays. Um, or is it just going to ruin lower league clubs? Um, not giving them the chance to have a replay. But we'll be talking about that in more detail Monday night at half seven. Mavadidi now, just inside the box, chips it in, doesn't get it through to a Leicester player. Oh, it's a free kick, the referee. Come on, referee. Yeah, I mean, the commentators are saying we are fortunate. Oh, somebody on loan, is he? <laughs> Might just go on and score the winner, John. You never know. Anyway, 20 minutes coming up too. Just after 45 seconds off the 20-minute mark as it's headed back from Faz to uh, Hermanson who then just rolls it out to Vestergaard. It's still nil-nil. Uh, we've had two shots. West Brom have had four. None on target for us. Two on target for West Brom. Twenty minutes gone. Who's the better team? I have to say, West Bromwich Albion. Indeed, he has not really been in the game, but he does hold on to that. Well, gets it back to Cody on the halfway line. Now chips it forward. Vardy, lovely ball, Cody to Vardy. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, uh, brilliant. Pass overhead up to Vardy, but he uh, he wasn't able 
And it wasn't his fault this time. That he, well, he actually did control it well, but the angle was, well, he had two defenders on him straight away. So, corner. Jewsbury Hall. That actually wasn't a bad corner from Jewsbury Hall. Winks plays it back out to Jewsbury Hall on his left foot. Chips it back in. Doesn't get it past the uh, defender this time. Comes back out to Winks. Almost back at the halfway line. But Jewsbury Hall's got it. He does play it back to uh, Chowdhury in the centre circle in West Bromwich Albion's half. They are kicking from south to north, remember. Which means Leicester will be kicking towards the cop in the second half. So, Cody. Indeedy. Gets the throw in. Cheers, great. Come on, yeah, let's, we like to get to 50 by, uh, by half time if possible. Likes do help the algorithms of the channel. Uh, gets us on being seen by people that aren't subscribed to us. So it's fouls now. Chips it into the box. Yeah! Wilfred fucking Indeedy! Wow! One fucking nil! Get on, Will! Get in! 21 minutes gone! What a shot! What an absolute brilliant well shot header! Into the goal. 1 0. 22 minutes. I told you, indeed, he should have been in the starting 11. <laughs> Faz into the box. Vardy's header saved. And indeed, let's just start this. Chipped in from Faz. He goes up, does. Uh, does Vardy heads it down? The goalkeeper stops it. The header was on target. He don't, not a good save at all. Saved it with his legs, if anything. The goalkeeper and uh, indeed he in the net. One nil, everybody. Wilfred in. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Excuse me. Let me just uh, rearrange my underwear again. So it's one nil. Here we go. Let me change this. Jewsbury Hall taken down, and it's the first yellow card of the game, and it goes to the uh, Willer, I think, from West Bromwich Albion. Jan Mavilla, yellow card here for West Brom, for a foul on, I think it was on Jewsbury Hall. Leicester City 1, West Bromwich Albion 0. Did I did I not say that indeed he should be in this sort of life? What the fuck do we know about football? What the hell do any of us know about football? Oh, it's all the way out. They're not a good free kick, and it's out for a uh, faith throwing. So it is 25 minutes coming up. Leicester City 1, West Bromwich Albion 0. It's got the crowd up now. Faz out to Mavadidi on this far side. He's going to jink it into the box, plays it over, but can't get it through to uh, Indidi, who was uh, just in front of the uh, penalty box. 1 0. Oh, Jewsby Hall taking that. That's going to be a free kick in a very good position. Six yards from the byline, just outside the penalty box on Leicester's left.
subscribe now and rate and review on your favorite podcast platform. Leave a like now. So Winks now. So he's holding his hands, his right hand up. Oh, pulled it back to Fataru, who shot it up to his mate in the play, in the space station. <laughs> to be honest with you. So it's all going well for Leicester at the moment. Uh, as it stands, uh, Leicester 91 points clear of Ipswich. We're back top as Chowdhury hands it, holds it in the middle of the field. Passes out to Faust on the left on the halfway line. His right foot chips it forward. Oh, it's a little bit too hard for Ndidi. And yeah, it's just shepherd out for a goal kick to West Bromwich Albion. Ring the bell and never miss another video. That's what you got to do. Brian, you're very kind. Thank you very much. I do have a, I do worry what, what will happen if we go. Oh, a, a mistake there as they pass it around the back from West Brom, but they do keep hold of the ball. Uh, Leicester closing it down. They've still got it near the corner flag. Now it's going to go high and wide. Will that go out for a throw in? No, it doesn't. But Leicester win the ball. KDH back to Winks. Winks across to Faust on the left hand side. So it's all about holding on to this and extending it, in fact. Jusby Hall to Faz to Chowdhury. Vestergaard, they're playing it risky here, at Leicester. Faz back to Hermanson. So four points clear of Leeds at the moment. And of course, we have still got that game in hand. But of course, we've got to we've got to win that game in hand. Uh, Pia, we're at home. Um, yeah, we're at the KP. Yeah, I was a bit happy when that goal went in. Run out of brew. I'm gonna have to go onto the side here now. Anyway, it's on this near side with West Brom, they boot it upfield. Chowdhury got cut out there, but he's oh, he sticks at it, Chowdhury. Ah. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, that was that was good play from Chowdhury. I'm going to say that. Good play from Chowdhury. It went over his head. He was caught out, but he stuck with it. Um, got the ball. Uh, couldn't quite control it, but still managed to get the ball to, to Jusby Hall, who was fouled. So well played, Chowdhury. About a second booking for the West Brom player. Anyway, it's with Kieran Dewsbury Hall. Plays the one two with uh with Ndidi, I think it was. Oh Mava DD. One of the DDs. <laughs> Cheers, Gray. Connor Cody chips it over the top, but it's a little bit too far down. Half an hour coming up. It is Leicester City 1, West Bromwich Albion nil. 60%, just uh, just under 59, to be precise, percent of possession to Leicester. We've had five shots. They've had four. Two of ours are on target, the same as West Brom, and we've had one corner each. But they have committed one more foul, and, of course, they are winning with the yellow cards. It's one yellow card to them. I know, I know, uh, Jeff, totally agree with you, mate. 
So it's back with Hermanson. Now on the far left, it's all coming down the left for Leicester at the moment. And having said that, they play it over to Fatou on the right. I haven't really seen much of Fatou yet in the game. He cuts inside onto his left foot, chips it into the box, and it comes off a defender number five, Bartley, for a Leicester City corner. So it's our second corner. Commentators curse there. Oh, it's all coming down the left hand side. And I couldn't see the angle of the TV camera, but he passed it over to Fatuhu on the right. Anyway, it's a corner. Uh, I can't see, but I'm presuming it's Kieran Dewsbury Hall that's going to be taking it on this near side. Remember Leicester kicking from the north to the south stand, and it is Dewsbury Hall with the boys. Right hand goes up. That must mean something. It doesn't mean he wants to go to the toilet. Chipped into the box. Ah, oh, but. Uh, Good goalkeeping. It was it was a long corner, and the uh, the goalkeeper came out and grabbed it. Now West Bromwich Albion able to break on this. Ah, oh, bad bad ball forward by West Brom, and it goes straight out. And it's uh, uh, did it go out? Did they let it go out of Manson or did he pick it up? They had players. Well, say they had players over. Anyway, Leicester have it, Chowdhury with Winks, Chowdhury back to Winks. Out to Faz now on the far side. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlefolk. 53 likes. What's the best sound that you hear at a football match? Well, at any, any time, to be honest with you. A lovely sound. Cheers, everybody. So everything I was saying before the game has been proved wrong so far. Mavadidi is uh, deemed to have fouled by the referee. Ah, we see Enzo having a smile on his face there uh, between the linesman and the fourth official. I think he was talking to the fourth official. Maybe they're telling each other knock-knock jokes. Anyway, it's the goal back with the goalkeeper for West Brom and the defender. Indeed, he really ran up uh, a long way there to close him down. And uh, West Brom can't really, it's been let go out, can't really sort of do much with that, and they didn't do much with it. It went out, Chowdhury takes the throw in, back to Cody. Into Vestergaard in the middle. Oh, that Faz, that was a poor pass from Faz. Best to come forward now. KDH. Indeed, he was down, but he's got up. Best to guard. Winks out to Faz on the left. Oh, West Bromwich Albion player fell over. Mavadidi couldn't control the ball. And West Brom get control and just play it out for throw in. Just, inside, just in front of the West Bromwich Albion box. Carlos Corbran there, or as we like to call him on this channel, Craig's mate, um, is out in his uh, technical area. Indeed, Drake. Are you a... Uh, Stefan, thank you so very much. So Daka's warming up, everybody. Oh, hit the back of Indeedy there as he was trying to... It was a lovely pass, but it hit the back of his heel. West Brom doing well, but they managed to lose the ball. And now Winks has got some space to run into on the far side. Up down Leicester's left. Gives it to Mavadidi. Just a little touch and says, Mavadidi, it's yours. But then he gets it back. Chips it into the box. 
So, all right, so yes, it was over here. It was over here. You can see Fatu were in the far side, and they all do the thank you. Um, but it was a little bit too hard. It, it was aimed at Fatu, I'm pretty sure, on the uh, on the goalpost. QPR Preston is the late game tonight. It's been like that, Geordie. It has been like that. Even in fairness, even when Ricardo plays in that role, because whoever's playing at the right goes up into the middle as an extra midfielder. Quite often they do get caught out. Child was playing there today, uh, and he's not is he's having a very good game, I have to be honest with you, despite what I was saying. Uh, but you know, we 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 do we do leave a lot of space down this 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 our our right hand side. You're quite right. So, thirty six and a half minutes gone. West Brom just playing it around their. Uh, the defence, and they're going to try and come forward now. They do. They get it up to the halfway line, coming into the Leicester half. This time they have got cover on this uh, right-hand side as Fatou is back. Turn there from the West Brom player. Oh, Fatou, is he going to no, He's had to play it back, the West Brom player. It ends up into the middle, halfway inside the Leicester half. The moment has gone for West Brom, but they still have the ball just inside now, the Leicester half. Now they come forward again. So, Sun comes out at the King Power. A long chip over the top from West Brom. I'm not sure that's gone out for a goal kick or a corner. It's a little bit too, no, it's a goal kick. A little bit too hard for the... Uh, the West Brom forward, although in fairness, phase although he did stick his foot out, and that might just have put the, the West Brom uh, player off. So, fair play to Faz. So, oh, Amanson takes a long kick upfield. That was a bit unexpected, and of course, as always with those, oh, Leicester got away with it, but we did lose it. But KDH now on that far side. Running in, plays into Mavadidi, just little back heel. Oh, the seven, seven players back for West Brom on the line. I managed to stop it going out for a corner, but it is a throw in. They had seven players back. Uh, and one just in front of them. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Jerry Taggart's just said exactly the same. They got the three centre backs plus the two wing backs. So forward, but it ends up back with West Brom, who managed to uh, take control of the ball. Chowdhury's in the centre again, and West Brom come up, come away. Oh, it's foul. Chowdhury's just giving it literally on the D. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, I mean, I've got to say, uh, I think Chowdhury took one for the team there. He left his foot out. He wasn't looking. He was looking towards the goal, but his foot was out between him. <laughs> You're mad, Jordy. You're mad. Uh, CC drags it switch. Uh, you're gonna have a good weekend. You can't lose or draw, can you? It's gonna be good for you. I know you're not playing, which is why it's gonna be a good weekend for you. So, Atu's laying down, taking the rest behind the uh, behind the uh, the players, and Manson giving instructions about where he wants his walls. Well, five, five minutes to half time, plus, of course, any stoppage time. <laughs> I wish we were as confident, Geordie. 
So Wallace looks like he's lining up. Yes, he is. I just hits the wall. The wall does its job. And now he, he shot it wide. One nil it remains. Uh, that was a poor, poor free kick. The wall did its job, basically. Kicked it straight at the wall. And then he kicked it wide uh, of the near post. So this is a absolutely... I'm not confident, Geordie. I'm really not. This is a typically time when Leicester... I've known to concede. Vestergaard takes it. Why is Vestergaard taking it and just passing it to uh, Martin Manson, who kicks it long upfield? He's done that a few times. But they are, yeah, and they're just saying there they are going direct. Oh, free kick to West Brom. Coming up to the end of the first half. Cannon, Justin, Doyle all sat on the bench behind Enzo and Ricardo trying to shout some instructions out. 42 minutes gone. Maybe about three minutes uh, stoppage time, possibly, I'm thinking. Oh, Johnson can't get it past Hamza, who then puts it out for a throw into West Brom. At least it's safe. At least it's safe. 42 and a half minutes. I just want to win that. I hate, I hate this period just before half time. I really do. The throw into Leicester. For once, they the, the, the weren't fooled by, uh, by the, the West Brom jamming player going down. No, Leicester. Oh, risky again. Played it back towards Hermanson there. Oh, is that a penalty? Yes! It's a penalty! It's a penalty! 43 minutes! Whoa, it's a penalty. Um, it all came from a bad back pass. To, to Mads. Mads up and under. Already downed by number 35. So, it's got to be Vardy, surely. So, we're up for a penalty. Vardy to take it. Oh, we're going to go into half time at 2 0. Come on, Jamie. He misses it. Whoa, Vardy misses the penalty. Daka would have got that. And he hit the post. The goalkeeper went the right way. Guitar wound now. Well, it's bomb have a free kick now. I'm not sure how many minutes half time we've got here.
and goes out for a free kick to Leicester. Two minutes. Yeah. He's saying to kick it long is Enzo to Mad to Manson. Ben, I said that. Free kick as Winks is taken out of play by Wallace. Mr. Guard, I think he's gone forward for this free kick, literally on the uh, edge of the circle, um, that sort of distance into the West Bromwich Albion half. Um, will possibly be the last action of the half. Mr. Guard heads it, but it's gone out. He can't head it back in. And there is, it's this half time. Guys, I am going to go and water the plants. Please uh, do stay with us. We'll be back uh, with everybody uh, in a few minutes. Should be 2-0. It is only 1-0. Why do we make things so hard for ourselves?
the Premier League. That's so last season. It's all about the championship here on LTID TV. Hello, Matt Elliott here. Hi, Alan Smith here. Hey guys, Ian Hume here. Hi everybody, Jerry Taggart here. Be sure to watch Chris and Leicester Till I Die TV. For all the latest Leicester City news and information. You can also subscribe on YouTube and various social media channels. For the latest updates and news on Leicester City Football Club. Come on you foxes! Hello, Matt Elliott here. Hi, Alan Smith here. Hey guys, Ian Hume here. Hi everybody, Jerry Taggart here. Be sure to watch... Gentlemen, five words. Daka would have got that. <laughs> I, I knew that was coming. Oh, God, uh, what the hell? We've seen him miss a penalty, and that went through my mind just before we took it. But I, I'm going to come to Luke first. If I can Luke. That penalty guard has got to come off, hasn't he? You can't, you can't hit, the, hit the you know the, the the area. The goalkeeper saves it fine, but he's hit the post. Fucking useless, isn't he? Let's get him off. Yeah, fair enough. He's 10 years older and the game that you keep bringing oh, up about against... No, no, hey, hang, on, hang on, 10 years older? It's a 10-year-old run-up, if that. What the fuck? the first penalty we've missed. What, what, why don't you bring up the game again from two years ago as your one reference? No, no, I'm just reminding you because you were saying how shit Daka was and yet he, he would have got that penalty. How do you know he would have got that? Nah. He could have started even higher the bar. So. I'm, not, I'm, you're, I'm you're trying to get to take the bait. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, it wasn't a penalty anyway. It was. No, nah, it was. Well, it was given. I'd be very really dark there, mate. You've got the light behind you. Yeah, I'll give me a minute. Yeah. Um, no, it, think it, it, penalty, Dave? no, I think it was probably started outside the box and there was no real contact as such. No. Oh, you I'd, I'd don't have been upset. Ask, Dave. It was a penalty clear as day. He continued to make contact with him in the box. It's given. He missed it. Let's get over it. Let's move on. Let's stop crying. We don't. We didn't deserve oh, the second goal anyway. To be fair, it, we. To be fair, I'll be honest with you. West Brom must feel like how we felt against Plymouth. We had all the chances, yeah. didn't take them, and then we've gone and nicked it on the counter. Or Bristol. Like 16. Bristol. It's ridiculous. So yeah. it's, it's I'll take it. I'll take Fattery, it. Though. So. I will take it. And Walt well, Faye's a left back, eh? Who knew? Who knew? I In fairness, should. though, let, let, let's come on to, to his good game, actually. And Chowdhury's man of the match for me so far. I mean, <laughs> we were calling him before. Is Mavadidi playing? Sorry? Is Mavadidi playing? Mavadidi is playing, but I tell you who has been poor because they can't pass, and that's Indeedy and Kieran Jewsby Hall couldn't pass wind in that first half. No, no, he's lost it, KDH, hasn't he? Lost his, uh, he his set Ten piece mode there as well. Ten minutes in, Luke. Five bad passes from Leicester. Yeah, the first ten minutes was pretty scary, to be honest. I was starting to brick it. Um, they looked so... We could have been 2-0 down easy in the first 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, uh, I mean, NBT's agreeing with Dave, but then I think he is a Leeds fan, so <laughs> he's going to say that. Um, I don't agree with Leeds fans, do I? Well, you are doing there. Well, he's agreeing with you. That's a fact. Um, was uh, was Nandini the offside either. for the goal? Was he offside for the goal? Ooh. VAR, yeah. might oh, work. come on, VAR. Piss off, let, down let, to Stanley Park, wherever it is. Piss well, off. Come on, get, we'll come on to the goal. Let's get this in, negativity in out of the way, Chris. Um, I mean, <laughs> what, what a clearance off the goal line, uh, Brad, from Chowdhury. Oh, I said Chowder was a great right back option. Fantastic. Oh, I never doubt him. Enzo, plan me, absolute genius. Of course, I, I will change me in mind and opinion as I'm a right to do if it goes wrong in the second half. But look, he's playing well. But one thing I have noticed, and we said this, didn't we, Chris? Me and you have said this, and I'm sure all four of us have. But if you're going to allow the likes of FaZe and Vestergaard to go bombing forward like they do, and obviously FaZe more than. Um, Vestergaard, but still go forward. You need to have the compensation there to recover from it. And whilst at times West Brom have got in behind and caught us out a little bit, that's what we get with the likes of Cody there to rebuff the defence. And it's it's so far a little bit getting away with it, but we we are, and that's that's the good thing, Chris. I, I said 
I think I messaged you actually saying I don't care for the performance so much. I don't care if we have the worst forty-five minutes ever, as long as that scoreline stays as it is. Yeah. I haven't got uh, my, my my phone in the room, so I didn't see it. Uh, John oh, says, "Don't boy, forget it was Barnes anyway. header that set up the goal. Of course it was." And I'm just like Luke said, I'm just trying to uh, get him to buy it, and he was refusing. Just showing the goal again, Dave. Um, you know, it's a good, it's a, actually a good call about Indeedy. That yeah. might have been called into question. Oh, no. No, they're just showing it then. Uh, in fact, there was another defender playing him on side. He then oh, was it? off side. So it, it was yeah, Dave. Side. Yeah. Yeah. I thought the same thing, Dave, to be fair. But look, yeah. oh, it, this arse over there, these Aussies and old, Aussies and old. Yeah. Dave, old. We, we were in a position where we, we played a back pass that was absolutely awful that nearly caught Mads out. Mads then hit it upfield. Uh, and they're just showing that now, which led to the goal um, in, in in a sort of roundabout way. Yeah, been, Mads has been doing it. Going, in fact, even it said on on the commentary just before half time, Enzo was instructing Mads to go route one. Yeah, well, it's the first time for a long time, isn't it? If ever, so it just shows you it works. I mean, we did look very shaky first what fifteen. Um, West Brom, I thought, were tremendous the way they came out. But Faz made, or Faz made his first mistake after about ten minutes. Um, he still bothers me, no matter where he is. His casual attitude is awful. Um, oh, Bournemouth's gone around Castle Point, unlucky. <laughs> um, but it's no it worries me that midfield. <laughs> that, that midfield worries me um, because they're not performing like they have all season. And uh, I don't know. I don't get it. Um, I it, mean, it... Luke Wayne says there, to be fair to West Brom, they could have put the game to bed. They could, but they didn't. Um, and we took advantage, as Brad said earlier. We did to West Brom what teams had been doing to us. Yeah. Yep. 100%. That's what I was thinking to myself. We could have been 2-0 down and you could see the momentum start to shift towards the end of that, that half. They would have been thinking, geez, we should be up by now. And you could see them getting flustered. Also, something to mention is I was watching the game with uh, Anil. That bloke that got uh, carded, um, I forgot his name. Apparently, he used to be yeah. something. he's known for getting a, a red card. He's he's looking like he's going to get sent off if he doesn't tone it down a bit. He's got two yellow. Um, so he's got one yellow. He could have had a second, but but he got got away with it. Um, but um, it's easy to buy a free kick nowadays, though, isn't it? I mean, look at them all. Chowdhury could have had two yellow cards quite easily. Mm. You know, guys just leave their legs in the places they're going to get taken out or their Chow body. And towards the end, when they gave that free kick, which was a <laughs> the the player took it, um, uh, Brad, like like Kieran Jewsbury Hallwood. He literally uh, hit it straight at the wall, but it was literally in the D or on the edge of the D. Chowdhury wasn't even looking; he was looking at the goal, but his foot was like right out behind him. It was and uh, that could have cost yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, it could have. And of course, you know, when a moment like that happens and it does cost us, we're, we're going to quickly jump on and and slate them for it when it all goes wrong. But at the end of the day, this is what we're coming up against, and and. Whilst that first half wasn't exactly the prettiest, you know, we, we, we've we been discussing for weeks now, haven't we, Chris? Plan B keeps getting whispered. Where is it, Enzo? Where is it, Enzo? Surely you've got it ready by now. We've, we're obviously with the shape and the way they're going about it, more direct on balls are going about it. But we have to be careful because I, I hate to say it, as well as that first half's gone for Leicester, the second goal would have killed it for me. I really do. And I just worry with our leaky defence, we know we're accustomed of conceding a goal. Was it a bit more uh, needed, that second goal? So that's going to be interesting. The next goal will be pivotal. One thing I will say is, Chris, if you don't mind me telling this, where's the fans? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's nervous energy. We've all been there, Chris. Nervous energy, nervous atmosphere. But this was the celebration it looked like to me when indeed he scored. Yay! Like, what? We're fighting for our lives to get promoted automatically, and you're going, yay. You were, what, 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 the old age pensioners department. But the West Brom fans were singing a song, Chris, and it sounded like they were the home side. They were that loud. What What the? 
What I did not been like with, 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 with me hat. I mean, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Luke, you're probably listening to it the same as I am on, on Foxy's Hub. Did you, could you hear the Leicester fans? Yeah, you, I could hear them. They sounded quite loud to begin with. And then after 10, 15 minutes, you could, I think, nerves started to sink into the ground because of the way we're playing. Right. The players are out. So I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks oh, very boys. much. Uh, fingers crossed yeah. for the second half. That's fingers hard. crossed, yeah. lads. Right, here we go. We are about to kick off. We're just waiting for West Brom to come out. Leicester are out on the pitch. Um, like I say, waiting for West Brom. Gray, probably because we've had so much, uh, many disappointments over the years. Well, we're, look, we're one nil up. We should be two. So, guys, if you could please do this for me. We are not, at the moment, um, guaranteed anything. That second goal, I just hope Vardy does take some stick for it because he deserves it. It was a poor penalty. If it had gone in, I'd have been saying the sun shone out of his arse. Let's hope we do. We don't always have a good start to the second half, do we, Gray? Um, sorry, Jeff. Do we, Jeff? So we're going to kick off. And will we do? Here we go. So, nope. No, we don't. And now we do now. <laughs> Took it twice. Um, so, Leicester now. Attacking the cop, playing from right to left. Um, there was there was nothing down the right in the first half. So twice on this day, we've fallen into relegation zones and been relegated. Let's hope it changes uh, our look this year. So no changes uh, at half time. Uh, so just to go through the team for you, it's Hermanson, obviously, in goal. Chowdhury, Vestavard, Card, Cody and Faz across the back. Um, oh, Vardy nearly got a header in there from a... Connor Cody cross, but uh, it's gone out for a corner. Um, indeed, he winks at uh, Jewsbury Hall uh, in the midfield, Fatawu and Mavadidi either side of Vardy. A lovely cross. Uh, I don't think he would have scored from it to be on the header, to be honest with you, but it he got a corner. It hit a defender, it's gone for a corner. Vestergaard's up there, Cody's up there. Fatawu going to take this corner. Oh, it's a poor corner. Doesn't get past the first man again. But it comes out to Winks. Now he plays it out to, to Fatawu. See if he can do better. Gets to indeed he chips it up. Oh. There's another corner. So we've come out. We've come out fighting. Yeah, indeed he. Um, indeed, he uh, and Fatawu combining for the first time. So, it's Chowdhury in the center circle. Winks. Long ball up. Vardy will run for it, puts his hand up and says thanks, but he wasn't going to get it. Uh, the goalkeeper rolls it out to uh, his defender. We need a second goal just to settle us down. It's 
So Palmer kicks it out for throwing. Poor clearance there from West Bromwich Albion. An enforced error with Leicester shutting him down. Leicester guard centre circle to Faz on the left here. KDH. Oh, he's got the space down this left hand side. Chips the ball in. Oh, it's out for yet another corner. We're racking these corners up. Uh, just to say who's on the bench, we've got Stellar, Chick, Doyle, Justin, Ricardo, Pratt, Eunice, McAteer and Dakar. So we've got a lot of attacking options on the bench if we need it. Uh, it was a good ball in from Jewsby Hall, probably his best one that he's got in. Corner comes to nothing. And Cody comes across just to kick it out and it's a throw in. I would be quite happy for all the Leicester players not to have a good game and we win 1-0. I would take that. I would take that at the moment. But so it's going to be a long throw from the number two for West Brom. It's like a corner. Oh, Hermerson comes up and plucks it out the air off the head of a West Brom player. And now Leicester can break on the far side. Otawu. Chips it over, lovely here, to Mavadidi. Oh, he shoots, but it's wide. A lovely breakaway there from Leicester. Uh, from, the, from the long throw-in, which was as good as a corner, um, it came off, uh, I think it was, um, I'm not sure whose head it was, but um, it was. Uh, it needed Mads Manson to go up and collect it. A lovely throw out, a lovely quick breakaway from Leicester. But they are defending in numbers. Oh, now they've lost it, West Brom. Best of God. Oh, I can't get it over the defender. Chowdhury loses out. Somehow they managed to get it get through the Leicester players. And there's a player here. Well, well got so much space here on our left. Oh, my God. Chowdhury again. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> off the line again. Mads made a good save. <laughs> but, and then Hams is off the line again. The corner comes in. Oh, and then it's off the bar from the corner. Wow, oh, we are living so bloody dangerously here. Oh, hit the bar. I mean, the corner came in. West Brom and Jarabin, I think, got the first touch. May have just been deflected by a Leicester shoulder. Leicester City at the moment. Navadidi now trying to take some pressure off the Leicester defence. He wins the ball off the West Brom player. Plays it in field. Winks. Indeedy now. Twists and turns. Oh. Square passes it to uh, Mavadidi. He's got KDH free. He's offside, apparently. Ronald, we are riding it like a fucking steer. We so are. Living dangerously, Jim? <laughs> I think you could say that. Great defending. Well, yes, it was. I didn't used to drink before I supported Leicester. Mind you, 
I was too young to drink when I started supporting Leicester, but if you're being pedantic, you know. So Leicester breaking away now. Mavadidi plays it to Vardy. Good running from Vardy off the ball. Pass. 1-2 with Winks. Now it's out to Dewsbury Hall. But it slowed it down and we've given West Brom time to get numbers back. And they break, and they break, take the ball off indeedy. And they're running. Oh, no free kick. So, Jewsbury Hall out to Mavity. Well, Mavity is in the box. He gets the ball across. Vardy misses it. Daka would have got that. That was a Dhaka esque attempt by Vardy there. Now, oh. <laughs> Ben and Jim. I mean, come on, if that you get my point, don't you? Daka would have been absolutely roasted by now. But Leicester cut out the West Bromwich Army in attack. 54 minutes gone, 55. Chowdhury from Winks back to uh back to Cody. And Didi plays it back now to uh, Cody up for up front. West Brom though, let Clower couldn't control it. No, I had the best of games for Taru. Boo hoo. The referee's calling uh, the the. Uh, Medic's on for Cody, who's on the floor. Yeah, it, it, it showed the top of his arm into Cody's that head. Uh... <laughs> Chris Tid. Oh, don't they just? Don't they just? Does anybody does anybody remember watching airline? <laughs> Not a good day to try and give up drinking. Good header out by Faust. Oh, Jews, we all didn't control it very well. Now West Brom again. And he missed again. Oh, my God. How many chances have they had? <laughs> Yes, indeed. I mean, 10 attempts uh, West Brom have had. They've had more on target than us. But, I mean, has Brad spoken to his dad? I <laughs> see you up there. I know, I wasn't going to say that, but the commentators just said, does this mean it could be Leicester's day? Oh, uh, that's a bit risky to say that. I didn't. The commentator did. Let's hope it's not the commentator's curse. Uh, 
How often, though, Bearded, have we said that about um, about Leicester this season? So, Cody defends well. And he's going to be out, and they're going to let it run out for a throw in West Brom, which they take very, very quickly, in fairness. Um, Cody, Cody facing up there to the West Brom. Player doesn't want to do that with this referee. Uh, he's only given the one card out, in fairness. Jim. I don't know. I literally, you don't. What you don't realise is that I'm only here, only nineteen. Leicester have made me look like this. Oh, now West Brom, good move again. Oh, oh! Furlong shoots it wide from a deflected defend. Move by, um, let me see who, who it hit on the way. I think it was Vestergaard, possibly. Or was it Faze? Vestergaard! Vestergaard! The ball goes wide for a corner, and Vestergaard does that. Only that penalty had gone in. How how safe would we be feeling now? You can see the nerves are kicking in here. You know, we've we've come from 12, 17 odd points clear at the top. Oh, poor ball through there. Ends up with Vestergaard. Plays it over to Chowdhury. Winks now, just outside the center circle. He's got Fazir on the left. Oh, just a little turn there from Vestergaard. Abadidi. What I have noticed, I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, when Leicester have had the break, uh, they've slowed it down and it's given West Brom time to get numbers back. The West Brom throw, bad uh, play by, I think it was Chowdhury there, who lost the ball and it went out. So, 60 minutes gone. Half an hour to go. Could be the longest half hour of our lives, everybody. West Brom are still sat in fifth place. Uh, they got a game, obviously, in hand over Norwich. Uh, Norwich, who are... Uh, not playing this afternoon. Yes, they are. They're hosting Bristol City. Norwich City, Bristol City. Um, so. Oh, Vestergaard took the ball. Lovely. Oh, it is is. Vestergaard, prime Messi. Oh. Vestergaard, prime Messi there in the 61st minute. Maybe Vestergaard should have shot there. Cody, cool as anything at the back there. Twists and turns and was able to set uh, fire a couple of passes. Mavadini. And then he tries to go one pass too many. Vesta somehow get it, but it's ping-ponged to them. Jews behold, got space now. No, again, he's trying. They're trying to fucking... 
Jews be all, stop fucking passing it. You're not or trying to go past two or three players. You're not Yannick Vestergaard. Pass it to another player, for God's sake. Yes, he's forced a, a, a throw in, but he should. It should have been more. Should have been done with that. He's trying. I mean, Vestergaard is messy. KDH, you're not messy. Mind you, of course, if KDH scores, I'll think he's the best thing since sliced bread. Anyway, the ball goes back with uh, with Hermanson. Just plays it just a couple of feet forward to uh, Vestergaard. One, two with Winks. Lovely ball through now to KDH. Turns on the ball. This time he does pass to Mavadidi. Mavadidi coming forward. Back to KDH. Chips it up. Oh, into the box. That was unlucky. That was a good play there. Good decision this time by KDH. Chowdhury plays into the box, but only as far as the West Bromwich player. But it does come back to him via a header off a West Brom player. Anyway, Tarwu now on the far side. He, wants to, he does get past his player. Chips it over. Yes! Yes! We've done it! That's the second goal! Jamie Vardy! He may have missed a penalty earlier, but he didn't miss that one. Vardy! Absolutely fucking brilliant! 2-0 to Leicester City! That's what we won! That's what we bloody won! Great play there! KDH makes the right decision. It gets out to Fatou. Probably for the first time, he manages to get a decent crossing. Jamie Vardy's on the end of it. Who needs penalties when you got Jamie Vardy in the time? In the team. 2-0. Now. Fatuu. Fatuu. What a move. What a move. 2-0 to Leicester City. That's the way to do it. Ooh, Jamie Vardy. Yes, indeed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Penalty? What penalty? 2-0 to Leicester City. Get in, Jamie Vardy. Finally, Fatou. He's not had his best of games, but he put that beautifully into the box and said, somebody get on the end of this. Who was there? Jamie Vardy. <laughs> I tell you what. My heart, I'm gonna. I, I had a heart attack not so long ago. I need to calm down. <laughs> Fair play to you, Luke. Fair play. Although Vardy did miss one earlier that Daka would have got. Um, <laughs> brilliant goal, fantastic. Yes, it was indeed. Oh. Fatou, lovely bit of skill. Yes, it was indeed. Uh, never write Vardy off. Let's go for a third. No, get two. Don't get, don't get greedy, Jeff. Don't get dreamed. <laughs> Lady, for, oh, no. The KP was electric after that goal. Yeah, I bet it was. He does. No, that's a fair point, uh, Ronald. A fair point. It's something that, in fairness, the West Bromwich Albion um, guy who did uh, our preview show said. Uh, Vardy does. Yvonne, um, that's what we needed. Yes, we do. Um, let's put the game to bed. 67 minutes. Leicester City 2, West Bromwich Albion 0. Wow. Oh, and chill. And chill, chill, chill. 
Kim and Jews behold coming forward. Oh, indeed, he can't get it. Oh, it was played through. Vardy tried to shut it down, but it was a bit too hard for him. Oh, somehow we've still got a game on here. Dewsby Hall to Winks. I mean, West Brom must be feeling like Leicester City. <laughs> I don't mean that horribly, but look, you know, all those chances they had, and now they are 2 0 down. Is there anything more Leicester to do than that? Leicester players now, they, they are cutting the West Bromwich Albion players, closing them down. Oh, that was Cody there that, uh, yes, it was, that took the uh, the player out. Three changes for West Bromwich Albion. So there's a lot of three subs here that they're going to have to do, or they are doing. <laughs> I forgot about that. What I need is a producer to be able to do these things for me. Indeed, Dino. Good morning from Good morning, Rojo. How are you? What did I miss? You missed an indeedy goal. You missed a Vardy penalty miss. You've missed a Vardy <laughs> goal for Leicester. Oh, the red. Oops. Fataru did a great piece of defending there. The referee quite rightly did not give the free kick. And that's a free kick to Leicester, as indeed he is taken out. Got to look like Daka then, don't I? <laughs> you only do it with that hand, though. So, Vestergaard. So, Chowdhury across to Vestergaard, across the back line. Vestergaard has got phase here. He'll probably go back to Hermanston. Yes, he does. Ah, that's what you're missing, yes, eh? We're all missing Vardy's parties. Who, what, was it Jewsby who said they all want to go around to Jamie's house on the last day again? Uh, I think they're going to have a game to play, so they'll have to be after the game. Look, this is Leicester. Let's not count our... Our Poussin, just yet. A little bit of French there for you. So Leicester are top. We've got a 43. Our goal difference is now better than Leeds. Leeds' goal difference is plus 42. Ours is plus 43. And Ipswich, who are in second, are plus 32. We're on 91 points. I mean, how mad is it? 91 points. Most seasons, we'd be thinking, well, we're there. We can take a winner. We can relax. We can enjoy the last three or four games. But, oh, no, not this season. <laughs> Even Southampton have said, that we want a bit of this. Uh, of course, and they're back in the hunt now with 84 points. Ah, oh, through ball there from West Brom and Jeremy, but he goes all the way through to Hermanson. <laughs> we want three. We want three. I remember singing... Five, six, seven, eight, uh, when we were at Southampton. Not the step song, uh, but the, <laughs> we want five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we've never, we've not done well against Southampton since then, it has to be said. Beat us twice last year. Jews, we all took that. Oh, that's a free kick, Mr. Referee. Yes, it is. He was taken down.
So, we're free kick in the centre of the field. 72 minutes gone. Leicester City 2. West Bromwich Albion 0. It looks like they're going to make another substitution. That'll be four subs. Ah, double change apparently. I only saw the one, but a double change. That's five subs West Brom will have made. No, that wasn't a foul on uh, on Jamie Vardy. Oh, Chowdhury again. But the, the RA is still able to come, but Chowdhury gets in again. I, I was going to say, I know it's only 72 minutes in, but barring something stupid happening, for me, Hamza Chowdhury, this is a man of the match performance, showing me, showing me that I absolutely know our all about football, which, if anybody follows Leicester Till I Die regularly, will, of course, know that. 105 people in the chat. How are we doing on the likes? Oh, Mavadidi, lovely one too, but he couldn't take that. Oh, but then the goalkeeper for West Brom. Poor, poor ball out. Poor ball out. Wizzy, you're right. Uh, Gray, Jim is a in with me, Spencer. I won't go this far. Chowdhury is liking Golo Kante. Let's let's calm things down a little bit here. But I get where you're coming from. Uh, Helena, how you doing? How many likes have we got, Gray? We've got 106 people in. We try, we got 50 at half time. And thank you very much for your support, guys. Uh, we get um, we uh, we tried to get 100 by full time or well, the end of the show anyway. So please. Subscribe and leave a like. Seventy-seven. Come on, guys. Jed Wallace gets one back. Well. So, 2-1 it is. So they made two more substitutions, um, uh, West Brom. So they've made all five. Looks like there's a substitution coming on for Leicester in a minute. Can't see who it is. It's going to be a very, very interesting last 15 minutes. It is. It's going to be West Brom attack after attack after attack. But then it does give us a chance to maybe hit them on the break. But like I say, when we do get that break, we seem to want to slow it down. And that gives them the chance to get back. Dennis Pratt is coming on. I'm not sure who he's coming on for.
So, Mabadidi, Kieran Jews, we all to Mabadidi. But now they, they do break again. Down that left hand side, Cody's covering it. Leicester got players back now. Vestergaard gives the corner away. Yeah, Cody was caught. Um, of course, West Brom, they'll, they'll think they've got to still get something from this game. Oh, the Leicester fans, they're just sat there so quiet. I can only hear the West Brom fans. Block there, block after block for Leicester in defence. Wallace clips the ball in. No penalty. West Brom, I think, were claiming it. Kipru went down, but it's all West Brom at the moment. For me, maybe, maybe bring Ricardo on. Put him at the back and move Hamza into midfield. At the moment, it is all West Brom, as you would expect. So we're back down to uh, plus 42 goal difference, the same as Leeds. Like I said earlier, not a good day to give up drinking. And we are standing off them. Why are we standing off them? Ten minutes to go. The moment it's last ditch defending by Leicester at the moment. Although at times it has been all season, still not gone out, so Pratt still can't get on. Best of God clears it. Can the substitution be made now? He's trying to G up the crowd and his teammates, I think. KDH is off for Pratt. On the 81st minute. So Pratt coming on for Kieran Dewsbury Hall. Jed Wallace. I'm surprised Jed Wallace has gone off. And Madger has come on for West Brom. So Pratt's shouted out some, uh, some uh, directions that Enzo wanted to get to the team. And he's pointing. You can almost feel the tension. And you know it's going to be five or six minutes added on, don't you, at the end? Tell you what, I'm going to go and open my whiskey. <laughs> She's just there. All right, Leicester City Jameson whiskey. I think I need to open that. West Brom come forward. There's only one team in it at the moment, unfortunately. 
Oh, the cross is a long, hard cross, but it is still with West Brom, just outside the penalty box for Leicester. That's good header. Oh, unless they get the free kick. That will just... Well done, referee. Indeed, he went down. So did a West Brom player, in fairness. Not sure what was going on. The referee smiling away there. Um, let's have a look at this. Oh, yes. He, 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 caught, he, he was going down the West Brom player. But he kicks, he kicks indeedy. Uh, it'll be a free kick to Leicester. Or did it indeed? Well, indeed, he, let's just say indeed he did well for the team. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Six minutes plus stuffish to go. Dak is going to come on. Chowder is booked. Dak, uh, look, guys, you know what I think about Dak, but really, what the fuck has Cannon got to do? Surely. A big hug and patch there for Dakka. No pun intended. Off Jamie Vardy. Don't know if that's the right move at all. Oh, somehow let a lovely play from Leicester. A bit ping pongy, but we still have the ball. Five minutes plus any stoppage time. Vestergaard goes back to Mads, who boots it upfield up to the doesn't quite get it to the halfway line, but it does bounce there. But it comes back from West Brom. Pratt will take it. And he just boots it upfield, which is the way to go. The way to go, Dennis. Well done, mate. Hundred and thirteen in. Please do smash the likes. <laughs> Wayne. I don't, I really, really don't know. I know what you mean, Jeff. Obviously, I would. But I just don't understand what Cannon has done wrong. I mean, I want any Leicester player to score. Obviously, I do. And I, and, and I don't, my, my argument with another Leicester player coming on, my argument with Dakar is that he just, yes, he's misses. Yes, he shouldn't be playing. But we need um, he, he he gets more grief than say Vardy who does the same. Eighty four likes, come on guys! We need uh, sixteen more to get to the hundred. We can do this. One hundred and one hundred and sixteen of you in now. Come on, smash that likes button. Eighty seven minutes gone. Leicester City 2, West Bromwich Arab being nil. At the moment, Dak is closing the player down. Oh, Dakka. Dakka gets booked. Mabadidi is off. And Justin is on.
Chowdhury again. Great, great save. Defending, I mean. Honestly. Another corner, just in there, straight into the action and heading it away. I don't look. Mm -hmm. Eighty-nine minutes. We're in the ninetieth minute. I reckon five or six minutes added on. Lesser need to stay awake when they got these free kicks. They take them quickly, West Brom. We've got to be on it. Pratt there getting in. Well, good, good play from Pratt. A throw in, I think, for Leicester there. Yeah, he was about to say free kick, the def guy, but it was um, six minutes. The, the, the Leicester fans are holding their heads. With another throw, well done, Daka. There, I did say five or six, didn't I? And you got uh, Toppies in the uh, in the stadium the first time they've shown him. <laughs> I I I I need I need I'm gonna have to buy myself a commode. Uh I need a sh I am shitting myself. Anybody else out there shitting myself? I think there's a new toilet roll called someone out there. We are crap or something. We I need that. I need a crap. But West Bromwich Albion come away again. Best of God, heads it away. So we are 91 minutes in. This is absolutely, this is, you are, I can't. It's all West Brom at the moment. I don't look at the screen. Oh, it's gone wide. Thank God from a West Brom shot there. Take your time with this, Mads. John Swift there shoots it. It's another corner, is it? Leicester fans, some clappers. Stones coming out now from the Leicester fans. Four minutes, just under four minutes. They look nervous, the Leicester fans. Yeah, just saying then one or two there. Honestly, I wouldn't be able to sing. Let's have a throw on the near side in West Bromwich Albion half. It's just in with it. A long ball up. Fatawu. Where's that? West Brom booted up field. West Brom throw. Indeed, the time wasting.
How are the nerves? Asked the commentator. Jerry Taggart says he hasn't got many left. I haven't got any left. I have very few to start with. Cheers. <laughs> what I... Oh. Please, please, please. Pratt, good defending there. Heads it out. It's a throw in near the corner flag on the far side. Again, short throw in. West Brom, clip it in. Oh, it takes a shot. And Manson saves. Falls on the ball. This should have been so much more comfortable. But in fairness, it wouldn't have been if West Brom had taken their chances. 94 and a half minutes gone. Daka played well there, gets the throw in. Daka, he went on the run there to get that ball. Had two players on him, went down. Leicester haven't managed to hold on to the fucking ball. Why don't you just play it around yourselves in that corner? It's gone out. It's gone out. We are 30 seconds off the six minutes. Leicester players are jumping up and down, singing. It's early yet to throw in. We're sat on 91 points. Like they said, yeah, many, many seasons that would have been enough to go up. 124 in. Please do like. Please do smash that likes. Tarwu one down, but that will just add time. I think it could be cramp. Cody Investigard telling telling Fatwu where to go. Baz. Referee hasn't blown the whistle yet. We're on to the night. We're in the well, we're 96, coming up to 97 minutes. Chowdhury blocks the ball. Now it's a free kick, and that's going to be a Leicester free kick. That hopefully should be it. Come on, referee. Come on. I can't afford a swear box. I'd be broke. Pratt, I think, oh no, Winks is holding his face. Matt Thurmerson trying to whip up the supporters. Come on, we literally. Yes! Yes! Get the fuck in! Yes! Yes! 2 1! Yes! We win! We win! We win! Wow! Hey, at last, at last, that was needed against the difficult opponents, West Brom. Yes, maybe they should have done better against us, but they didn't. We missed a penalty. We still won 2-1, and it's time for this. Yes, 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 oh, 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 God. Oh, I'll have what she's having. Oh, well, definitely I'll have what she's having. It's a 2-1 final score, and I need a shit, <laughs> put it bluntly. Uh, I have needed one for a long time. I have been holding it in. I can hold it in no longer. 
let us go. We will come back. We will come back and we'll take your your, your, your comments very, very soon. Uh, please do this. <laughs> The TalkSport Fan Network is the ultimate on-demand destination for the UK's best fan-led football podcasts. Including Leicester Till I Die, independent analysis and reaction for the Foxes faithful. The TalkSport Fan Network. Unbeatable club-dedicated content created by the fans for the fans. Follow the podcast on the TalkSport Fan Network. I'll have what she's having. I think we'll all have what she's having. And what I don't need, I need to get this uh, layout right. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let me just catch up 
first of all, with some um, full-time comments. Um, there's been a lot coming in. Hi, guys. I will be coming to you in one second. I just need to catch up um, with these. Oh, my God, there's, there's loads. Uh, Matthew, thank you very, very much. You are a gentleman, sir. I do appreciate that. Um, uh, Pia, Pia says, did we win? Uh, just <laughs> um, uh, uh, Charity Man of the Match, we'll be coming on to that, obviously, later. We're top of the league. We are. Um, we said at the beginning... Didn't we, me, me and Brad, we weren't too sure about Caldry. Uh, what the fuck do we know, really? Uh, atmosphere at the end was amazing. Stay quiet for a lot of the time, though. Uh, everybody's saying um, they had a good, uh, good, good, um, good game, did Hamza. Um, I said a few days ago, three wins and a draw and we go up. Well, that's one TikTok, as you say. Uh, Chris is so funny. Um we were lucky, but we were lucky in fairness. Um, Brad said it earlier, and I've got to 100% agree with him. Um, <laughs> West Brom must be feeling like Leicester have for the last few games. Uh, pick off back to West Midlands. Uh, swear jar, Grace, swear jar. Yes, yes, yes. I, I apologize to anybody's wives, girlfriends that's <laughs> that, that came out on. Um, in fact, in fact, Kathy sent me a text message. She is out, but she said it's been a long time since I heard celebrations like that. Um, obviously, Dave needs to get down to the gym more. Uh, brilliant, thank you. For that. Uh, that was stressful. We are here. Well, I don't know. We keep going, us. <laughs> was that a, was that a motorbike in the back? Dave the sounds like he, I was just about to say. Dave sounds like he's on a motorbike test. He's just yeah, yeah he was. was. Either that or he stood up and he farted. Wasn't very sure. Se to very sensitive microphone, wasn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, uh, that was the longest six minutes of my life. Yeah, I would love to is. see a heart rate monitor for all of us. Uh, honestly, mate, I said earlier, what a fucking bad day to try and stop drinking. Uh, oh. <laughs> Brad, I'm still shaking here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We never do it easy, do we? 2-0. Uh, and you're thinking, yeah, that's it. With Dave. But look, you said it earlier, Brad, and I've got to come back to you. Um, we did. We did to West Brom what teams have been doing to us. Yeah, and it felt fucking nice being the team that was doing it to, to oppositions for a change instead of being on the receiving end of it. Because I tell you what, Chris, the West Brom manager... I don't know what sort of day he must be having, but he can't be getting any better. I won't be surprised if he was late to the game, if he, you know, he's watched his team miss seven or eight chances to have won the game. Chris, I wouldn't be surprised now if he gets back to the West Midlands and catches his wife in bed with his brother-in-law or something. I don't know. He's, he's having that sort of day. That's when everything goes wrong, isn't it? But His brother-in-law? I, I said it, and I do not care how we won it. I don't <laughs> care. At the end of the day, the only thing that matters... Is what a that, yet again the only thing that matters is the fact that we are taking home three points over yeah. to you, Leeds United. Because if you don't win on Monday, 20 less well, just over 28 hours, 40, 24, 20 odd hours later, Leicester could secure promotion. This is what we needed going into that game in hand on a Tuesday. My god, did we need it by hook or by crook, and I'll take it by crook today. And Luke, Luke, you've got to go 2 2 for every game this season because you're the only one to doubt us in the predictions league that I've got written down. Um, uh, what what did I predict again, Brad? Ah, uh, yeah, you predicted 2 1. That's not that important. <laughs> uh, I'll blame Vardy. You paid him, didn't you? You paid him. Starting, the week, starting the week off with, um, with with three points. I knew I knew when Vardy missed that penalty, he would, it was just teasing. Hey, it's Luke, rubbish. That was a rubbish header, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, Daka would have uh, missed that, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Luke, what was he doing? I mean, to be Luke, I, I forgot what I was going to say now with Dave Dawkins. <laughs> Look, Leeds have got, that was what I was going to say. Leeds have got a long wait, haven't they? Now, and it's Monday. They would love, I'm sure, to love it. They would love it if they were love kicking it. off in 20 minutes and can get an immediate response. But they've got to wait two and a half days before they can come back and, you know, try and get back and that that's got to be playing on their mind now hasn't it 
Yeah, definitely. We've, we've all dropped points, even Ipswich dropped points or Drew. I think we're all worried about each other. It's the business end of the season. People are tired. It's going to be an anxiety-riddled um, wait for our, the Leeds fans and the Leeds players. Let me just say this, guys. If Hamza made another save, I reckon Mads was going to have to rip the gloves off and give them to him. <laughs> Put it between sticks. <laughs> mate, what a performance. Oh, sorry, I know you want to keep on topic, Chris, but I just had to say that, mate. I thought no, it was no, brilliant. I'm just going to show you. This is from Jim, who's in the chat. don't know if you can see that. All the way from Florida um, in a bar that is, well, I think it's a bar, surrounded by all the Leicester flags, mate. Shout well, out to Jim. Brilliant. I think it is a bar. You've got to look. Go you've got to love it, haven't you? I know that one's got a very nice uh, um, uh, den. I've got to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> bars are shut Dave, in Perth, aren't they? Dave, it, it was nervous at times, wasn't it? But at times, how... fucking hell. I, I was. I've been checking my blood pressure all the way through. It got up to uh, what was it? Hundred and 66 over 101 or 178 over 101 that's mm. fucking hospital level that is <laughs> don't dave Four. don't you you're at that age it's coming <laughs> back down now so <laughs> jeez honestly i mean it's not the time to criticize or anything it's just the time to enjoy it now and uh, we can worry about the other stuff on monday if you if there's a show it, there um, is a show half seven because kate's Working oh, on the BBC. Her, her ladyship's on the BBC, isn't she? Oh, yes, we have to work around her. Oh, she's forward. asked me to go with her, but I can't make it, unfortunately. I'm, I'm doing a show with Chris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, best opposition I've seen this season, Luke. Would you say that? I don't think I would. Thank you, darling. Okay, no, I, I wouldn't. I, I thought they, they they did really well. To be fair, I think if if this was a game of FIFA, and I was and I was West Brom, I would have smashed me controller. They had so many chances. I thought they were great, but I, I don't think they're the best. No. No, I thought they were pretty close, mate. The chances they made, and we yeah, didn't I I think we actually defend that quiet. bad, did we? We didn't defend yeah. that bad. We didn't give yeah. them much, really. But I think you're just missing West Brom. Very easy because I can't, I cannot think, I cannot think of a performance by an opposition this side that has got on to beat us. And that, and that, you're talking West Brom lost this game, remember? You know, I'm talking about an opposition that actually played well and beat us. And honestly, no, maybe Middlesbrough were resolute, but they weren't flaring forward. Uh, all of the resolute, weren't they? Yeah, all That's the good. resolute, but no flair. I honestly think. Yeah, well, suck ass, pair of yours. <laughs> Leeds would be my uh, answer, to be honest, as much as it pains me to admit. West Brom haven't no, been as I definitely thought that was great. Mate. No, they no, had no, a much... no, 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 no. Leeds at home and away weren't even brilliant against us. We just lacked luster. They didn't create... Because Leeds last 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We had a goal ruled out. We had a perfectly yeah. good goal ruled out at Ellen Road that would have turned the game on its head. I honestly think West Brom, home and away, have been our hardest opposition to beat. I honestly think that... They must be thinking, how the fuck have we not got a single point? What did they do? They had two cleared off the line at the bar within about two minutes, wasn't it? Jeez, they could have been three goals. They could have had three goals or more in each half. The chances Isn't it they good to be lucky, though? Isn't it great to have some luck? Yeah. Sometimes you need it. Sometimes you Brad, need it. Yeah, and you, that was... Chris isn't Chris back the in the green. That role. He had four beforehand. He's down to <laughs> half a roll now. <laughs> Can I say something? Um, do you know what's really nice about this whole thing? It's not just the three points. And I might actually use wiping me off. <laughs> I, I honestly thought when the lineup came up, I was like, oh, great, not Chowdhury. Um, I've been very vocal and dismissive of him. And you know what? Not only is he for me, we'll get into Man of Match later, but what's really good about this is we're all forgetting that Ricky P got a much needed rest. So I, yeah. I was thinking, you know, yeah. what? we're going to have to see him come on second half and you couldn't take Hamza off. And I think that's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I, I mean, I've never doubted him as a player, just as a fullback. And he didn't play fullback today, really. Not really, did he? Although they go to a back four when we're defending, so. Yep, 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 100%. Sorry. Brad, I, 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 John, right. my prediction, my prediction, John, I hate Vardy. I want yeah. him back to take that penalty because me and, me and Dave... That would have been 3-1. Yeah. So it's all Vardy's fault. Sell him, sack him, drop him, play him in the reserves, he's useless. 
<laughs> Take the knee. <laughs> I need somebody to talk just while I go and do a bit of artwork. Uh, oh, I'll, Pat, do it, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll okay. do you all along. Luke, See you, Luke. Luke. <laughs> I actually have to shoot off in 10, so I'll leave you to it. All right, mate. <laughs> Thanks very much. Are you going now, mate? I'll go now. Um, guys, take care. Um, I appreciate having on. Sorry. Um, my man oh, of the match. You go, before you go, Luke, before you go, um, rating and man of the match. I'm going to give it a strong purple seven. Um, strong uh, purple. <laughs> is, yeah. is that what you say to the wife in bed, Luke? Uh, Luke? I'm going to give you, Seth, I'm going to give you a strong purple seven. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think seven. <laughs> and... <laughs> Brad, you win comment of the day. That's getting flipped. <laughs> the strong purple one. <laughs> oh, sorry, Luke. You uh, walked right into that. I, I did, man. I, I walked right into that one. I've got. I have actually got Steph's reply here. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh. Those are the days, eh, Luke? <laughs> those are the days go on son triplets um uh <laughs> um seven for me and man of the match i think everyone's gonna unanimously agree it's hamza yeah there you right. go chris enjoy that mate huge win I um thanks do, guys indeed i will do ah, and you are a gentle hey you are a very much a gentleman sir thank you sorry i can't stay so long guys but i've got stuff to do but good Cheers, to see you in great three right. points for take for once. thanks very much take care and all the best to steph as well Thanks, mate. See you later. Enjoy the big purple one. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, thanks to Luke there. It's early for him, so he can actually go and enjoy his day now. Um, Brad, while I just go and do a bit of artwork, I'll talk between yourselves on this one. Um, Fatawu went down at the end with a bit of cramp. Kind of missed what had happened in the game while he was down. Um and <laughs> Nate said you turn the volume back up, is all we would say. Um, and then when he came on, you had both Vestergaard and Cody telling him where to go. That's what those guys bring, didn't it? Yeah, experience, um, knowledge of the game. They know how to handle these situations because there was a little moment actually where he took where he brought FaZe, um, sorry, he took Mavadidi off and he put Justin on and there was complete confusion because he brought M Maresca, ushered Fatawu and, and um, Justin over. And that was another moment where it nearly cost us, but their experience showed. And today it really did. You know, we're going to be talking a lot probably about, I, I agree with Luke, probably pretty much everybody's man of the match, Q Allen to pick Harry Winks. But my point is, you know, um, they allowed certain players to have a good game and make brighter, smarter football decisions, didn't didn't they, Dave? Because when you've got someone saying, look, I know you might think I've got to always pass it around, but we need to be sometimes just send it long. Let them have a throw in. Yeah. If it's 30 yards inside their own half, I don't give them monkeys. We can yeah. regroup, we can reshape. The last thing you want to do is try and do too much with it, and, and 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 the ball comes back to them and they've got a chance to attack our goal. I've never seen so many long balls in any game, which is sort of encouraging. And I think Cody encourages that as well, because he, he's pretty good at that. I, I, I was a bit disappointed in Ndidi. He, didn't, he looked out of sorts, I thought. Um, I, think I think the middle three that, did, though, didn't they? The middle yeah, three looks a bit out of sorts. They have for a while, haven't they? Which is why we've lost control of games. Um, yeah. But apart from Vestergaard's really bad error in the first half, I thought he had a good game. Second half, I thought he came up to it and did all right. Yeah, I think that's, that's the most important thing of all, isn't it, Dave? That when, when it mattered and where it counted the most for Leicester, they were, they were very good at what they needed to do. Yes, eventually West Brom... You could argue the least they deserved was a goal from from. Yeah, it was a good goal. Yeah. Today. But um, yeah, even if there was the odd mistake made, Leicester found a way to usher it out or capitalise on it if it was a West Brom mistake. And what was, yeah, what I was surprised at on that goal was that Cody didn't step up because it was a long ball. It was clear, well, it seemed clear as to what was going to happen. And even if he didn't know if he was going to play a long ball, as a central defender, 
um, or as a goalkeeper, you'd expect your defence to step up. In that yeah, position. you were. You were, and and Cody didn't. He hung back on his own, which I was kind of surprised somebody is, is experienced, but that he's not played for a long time, has he? So, yeah, and the thing oh, is, for me, I think on, you need that, you need the anchor. You need the anchor when Vestergaard and Faze go forward, and they, and that that freed them up to do that without too many excuses. Yeah. Defense. Yes, I am so sorry, uh, Brad. Do not be calling the lovely Kate a wanker. There's no need for that. I thought you said Bianca. Especially why I can hear you. Hello, right? That's the one we're sorry. Sorry, Anka. She's with um, the BBC now. Yes. Oh, yeah, these is. BBC anchors, yeah. They go away. Boo, hiss. Anyway, yeah. we're pleased to have the BBC's Kate Blakey with us. Um, <laughs> sounds like a newsreader, doesn't it? Don't say that. That was Kate Aidy, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, I know the King Power can be toxic at times, but it's nothing like Kate Aidy's uh, destinations. Uh, How do you feel, well, mate? Well, well, hey, about um, crowd were quiet up until the end. Um, yeah, they were fairly they were up and down, really. I mean, it was so stressful, wasn't it? The last twenty minutes were so stressful. Why all these expensive face creams to stop myself from aging? And I just need to stop going to the King Power. What a dread, what a yeah. stressful experience. Um, yeah, last twenty, I think everyone was just biting the nails. It was just, yeah, too stressful for me. Um, invited our own pressure. I made changes really late again, which I just can't get my head around. Um, and then they scored, and I don't know how they didn't score again. But it's about time we had some luck. I feel like we've been a bit out of luck sometimes. Um, over the last sort of 10 games or so but we've flipping rode it today I don't know how they didn't score in that sort of hot patch after um, about 55 to 75 they had a real hot patch didn't they so they did in the first half as well Brad made a very good point you know we did to West Brom what the likes of Plymouth and, and Millwall had done to us yes exactly yeah they'll come away feeling aggrieved really um, mm. yeah well <laughs> I don't know what happened. I mean, they put the penalty away 2 0 at half time. It's a different story, isn't it? Can I just that say, was really Jack, disappointing. Sorry. Jack already got that penalty. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure, but I would back Cannon to have. I can't, I don't know what Cannon must be thinking. Like, He's anyway. I, don't, I mean, Jack, uh, hey, Mom, what was the crowd's reaction when they saw it was Jack? Sorry, I'm going past somewhere really loud, one sec. Um, Indifferent, actually. They just applauded him. I don't, there was no sort of surprise or whatever. He'd been standing on the touchline for a little while. Um, yeah, there was no there was no reaction, really. Um, I felt like the change up top was the least substitute needed. I think the changes in the middle were needed. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, KDH was blowing. He should have been took off 10 minutes before. I don't know why. I mean, at half-time, the three chaps that were in their shorts warming up was McAteer, JJ and Doyle. Mm. And they were in I mean, there, I'm, sure, because everybody else that. was in there, black doggers, and I'm surprised. I... Sorry, carry on. No, I was going to say that this, it doesn't help. Today. Um, I was going to say, I was screaming for Ricardo to come on and stick Hamza into the midfield to do that, you know, that defensive role there that he is very good at because we still looked, we still looked way, way open coming down that, you know, down our right. Yeah, absolutely. I know that he obviously in the first half he cleared that ball off the line. That was because he didn't track his man, and because the man he didn't track, he was the guy that took the shot. He just isn't aware. Yeah. He isn't aware on the break. But he's so industrial. Yeah. Like when you want to get stuck in, there's not many people that want to get stuck in like he does in the middle. Um, but he's just not got the ability to play that that wing back inverted position. But I, I don't really know why that is. I don't know why he played today. If Ricky's on the bench, he's fit surely. So. Yeah. But anyway, he did, he did well and he saved us in a few times. And... Oh, God, he did. He absolutely did. And, and uh, Mads as well. Mads made some amazing saves. He did. I've seen them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah. All right, we knew yeah. we were going to see what was the crowd's reaction when we went 2-1, uh, when it became 2-1. I think it stunned us a bit because we had rode our look and I think we were quite aware of it coming. I think we were all screaming out for changes. Because we were hanging, we looked, we looked on the ropes, 
Um, and it was just a really tense finish, like a really tense finish. And the loudest it got was in the injury time. Don't know where and our six minutes came from because there'd been no injury stoppages. There'd been a lot of subs, but no injury stoppages. And then when the referee ticked it over to seven and a half minutes in the end of injury time, everyone was on their feet a bit, really. <laughs> I've got to say, fair play to Dakar. There was a chance there in the corner. He just ran and ran and ran. Had two players on him. Went down and got a kick or something or throw in. But we then yeah. waited. But, he threw um, himself about a bit, which is most I've seen in terms of he, got, he had a bit more venom in him today. He had a bit more Jamie yeah. Vardy about him. Like, get stuck yeah. in, cause some chaos, get them he, riled he up. He was only on about two minutes. He got a yellow card. <laughs> no. Uh, but look, I'll let you go and look um, 7.30 on Monday, so enjoy the BBC. Obviously, I need to get your team rating and your man of the match. Uh, team rating would be probably six, I think. And then man of the match. Crikey, man of the match. I'm going to go for Mads. I thought he kept us in it. I think Hamza ended up saving his skin. It's always desperate with Hamza, isn't it? It's always desperate because he creates a desperate situation for me. So he's mad to me. I think he made some amazing saves and no one else really stuck out. Yeah, no, no. Right, well, have a safe journey home. I know it's a short one for you. You hopefully won't see any um, any fridges in the canals. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we will see you on... <laughs> they realise it's back. And we will see you on Monday about half seven. Yeah, I'll be on as soon as I can. Yeah, no, right, see you later. It. All right, bye. See you later, guys. Big slash. Yeah. Oh, she's gone. I was slashing for her. That sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. Um, thank you. <laughs> Dave comes in with a slash later. I think that's probably age. Um, mm. Look, let's just go through some notes I made here on this on the second half. Um, we had we contributed nothing in that first half, or much in the second. Uh, until until Hamza went and proved me wrong as soon as I said it and put a good cross in. But Dave, there was nothing coming down that right hand side, was there? No, no. The, <clears throat> I think um, the important players took a long time to get going. Um, Mavadidi probably had about a five or ten minute spell where he did okay, uh, but apart from that, nothing. Um, we looked. We didn't. It was weird because West Brom basically murdered us for a long time, yes, but we did. didn't look like we were playing like as bad as we have done. You know, we were more positive. We were playing balls quicker, um, playing, trying to play more forward, and which was weird considering West Brom how they were performing. Um, you'd have expected Leicester to sit back all the time with ten men behind the ball. Mm. Um, and until it got a bit later on, we didn't. But I, I don't think there was much help from the midfield. That's what probably changed it. You know, made it difficult for us. Mm. And DD, I disappointed, very disappointed in him. Looked tired, leggy. At Dewsbury Hall, off, off it. Um, and uh, you know, you just think, why? Mm. You know, they they're not tired now. They've had eight days. Yeah. Um, what's the problem? Is, is, is have they run out of options? Are they one track? Are they all right? Can I know? just can I just ask the pair of you if we fucking won a game or not? <laughs> oh, hey. Sorry, just because because since Kate's been on, all I've heard is this mistake, that mistake, this mistake. I'm, we fucking won a game of football. Can we? Can we? Yeah, but we top of the back? league. We should be winning it. We sh you know the reason we lost. No, those no, no. Two you've away got no games. right to win a game. You can't say, "Oh, we should be winning it." Dave, these are fifth. These are trying to secure their playoff spots. The commentators made it very clear, at least on Leicester Hub, Dave. I don't know if you watched it on the, on, on the Sky, but West Brom are actually facing their own troubles. A win today for Hall, a couple of games caught in hand, and they could go into the last game, Dave, not secured at the playoffs despite their season they've had. But that's that's I, football. That's what exactly, happens. Exactly. That's, that's my point. Why why we why we sat here after all the hell we've been through in this last 10 weeks, we finally have ourselves a little bit of an opportunity to really nail in the playoffs. And it's uh, uh, ten well, I think in, in answer to your question, Brad, it's because that's what we're here to talk about. We're not here yeah, to go. Really, 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 really. A little bit more positive yeah. in it. You can at least I am talk positive. Fuck positive me. Shows. You should have seen me 20 minutes earlier. Um, you know, I was skipping around the settee. But can the we point bring that, is... Can we bring that here? 
for bringing that here. <laughs> Fortunately, it didn't get. I get, I get there are some talking points to be made, and I'm not saying that. But Jesus Christ, the, first, the last seven minutes, I've been like, did we just lose? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's great. I, I'm keeping but... out of this. You two, you two are going for it. I, I know, had my last week. We still shouldn't be in this position where it's so important. Um, it's great that we won, but then we've won the last three home games. Thank God. And let's hope we do it on Tuesday. If we do it on Tuesday, I shall come around and give you a big kiss. Oh, God, I can't <laughs> open it now. Uh, you, you asked for that, I'm afraid. Uh... Nah, I talked myself into Okay, that, going off the negative subject, can I just say, I watched the um, LTID 2 with Craig, Fuck, you want me to follow that? Hey, in the competition. Top ten, top ten symbols. If you know Lefty, Shit. you should know all the top tens. Top ten. I what? want top ten offsides. I want top ten attendances. Oh. I need you to know it all. He was awesome, wasn't he? Well, there you go, guys. There's only one way to find out. That was a nice Lots little follow, point. Mate. Shame to do myself. Right. Well, yeah. pulling it, pulling it back to, <laughs> to the game, uh, and I am going to bring one or two points up where. I think we were hanging on. Let's be honest. Had West Brom had their shooting boots on, we would have been out of, you know, would have been down at half time. Um, but Brad, what got me was every time we seemed to have a breakaway uh, or Mads kicked the ball upfield, and he did that more often than I've ever seen, you know, seen probably all season. I think Dave commented on that earlier. Um, we, we got the ball and we just seemed to actually then slow it down, which enabled them to get back and get seven or eight players back. At one point, Tags made, you know, he said, you know, we, we had a breakaway and they had uh, three centre-backs and two wing-backs suddenly back, uh, you know, defending. We we weren't, again, we've said this so many times, and I know we've won, but clinical enough. No, but sometimes, you know, uh, uh, get overexcited and try and do it too too soon. And you look at the way West Brom playing, West Brom's tempo was to push forward. They had... They flooded the middle of the park with the bodies they had. And as we've seen in recent weeks, Chris, Leicester get too giddy, make a couple of passes too early, and they lose the ball. All of a sudden, Leicester's defenders are dealing with a, a four on two in, in you know in, in the opposition's favour. And it can all go wrong for us. And today, Chris, it's it was all about managing stages of the game. And do you know what, Chris? Is I'm glad that you said that had West Brom had the shooting boots on, um, we might not have had this outcome because I want, to really, I want to turn you back to earlier in the season, the amount of times, and not just you, obviously, I know you kind of play devil's advocate to, to do so, but others were saying, oh, well. To turn me back, sorry. Yeah, you, yeah turn back. Sorry. Um, turn around. Right. But no, you know, because... Oh, bloody hell. You know, when we were beating, you know, a Rotherham 2-1 and we were beating Sheffield Wednesday at home 2-0, what was it we said, Chris? A better team would have taken them chances and beat us? Hmm. Well, not 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 quite exactly. If you look above our head, they, 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 they had it. But Leicester had to manage and they'll have to do this for as long as the race for automatic um, promotion is, is not done for Leicester's point of view. They have to manage games in sections. and. I, I said it before the kickoff, and I kind of pretty much been saying it since the fallout of the Plymouth game. I don't too much care to a degree of the performance. I care about the result. And for me, you would argue and sit there from a neutral point of view and say Leicester have just committed daylight robbery because minus 15, 20 minutes when they got the second goal and actually controlled it, West Brom were deciding the ascendancy. But they did enough of the things they need to do right throughout the 96 minutes um, to get the result, Chris. And at the end of the day, that's something you've got to mention. Yes, we'll take away the negatives. I 100% agree with Dave, and I even said it. The middle three had a bit of a shocker today for me. They they they, they were in the fives and fours categories for their passing ability. I know Wilfred scored, but, you know, sometimes you need a little bit of luck in football, and sometimes you need to find ways to win when it's not going well. And at the end of the day, <laughs> Ronald's right. In other games, we've been the team going, well, if we had a shooting boots on, this would have happened, that would have happened. So football's turnaround fair play. And at the end of the day, 
kind of would be funny now if somehow West Brom were to bottle the playoff position they're in after losing to us. But that's for another topic. It is. Brad, have you spoken to your dad today? Well, first of all, he is coming nearer to you, uh, Dave. So if you did want to kiss him, he is uh, he's kind of, he's moving it a little bit a lot. next week. Um, but did you have a word with your dad upstairs today? Because is our name on this promotion thing or what? I mean, you know, we needed that. You said at the start, a win at any cost will just do. And that's what we, we had. So, you know, I've got to say thanks. Keep going to church. Um, Dave, um, do you think Southampton, asks Bob, will be better than West Brom? I thought West Brom were excellent today. But generally, yeah, I think Southampton are better. Um, I think we'll be so full of confidence now. You know, you could see that in the players after the game. I mean, they were buzzing, and and rightly so. And I think yeah. that... Com- <laughs> oh, Dave's conked out. He has. Um, oh, you, went oh. Then. you went then, Dave. You're Sorry, right. we your last comment. Yeah, you all you all went then, boys. No, just, just you on our end. I'll, I'll blame Dakar, personally. Yeah, it must have well, been Dakar's fault. Well, you all went. Or was I just talking bollocks? Both, <laughs> both for you, Dave. Both. You went and talking bollocks. I have no think, idea what I was talking about. Southampton are on a bit of a run at the moment, aren't they? They are, but we've got the thing over them, haven't we? Really, last few years. I mean, we've, you know, the, our record against them must be brilliant. Um, to be honest with you, no, because last season they beat us twice. Oh, of course they did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the team that was the last team in the division. That really was awful. Them. Um, that was awful. Yeah, I forgot yeah. that. How could I forget that? Yeah, yeah, it's your age. Um, I mean, Brad, and I'm going to ask you both, but I'll come to you first with this one, Brad. Uh, I've starred it. Um, John says here, uh, still not enough subs yeah. put on. So I don't know because you know, you. I think he actually got it right today. And, and yes, there were still reactionary subs. They were still reactionary subs because he made a sub, you know, pretty much either just before or just after the goal. And, and then he made the obvious sub, give Jamie Vardy 10, 15 minutes to go and start his recovery because um, we play Tuesday. So we've got to remember that. Um, so... He made his he made his reactionary subs to the occasion, but I don't think he did a lot wrong in that sense. I actually think he did a really good job because you have to play the game at the tempo it's being played at, the opposition you're up against, the way they're playing, and the situation of the game. And in, in all honesty, Mavadidi, after about well, probably less the second goal, funny enough, didn't really offer us anything going forward. And in all honesty, given our situation, given the given the moment of the game, we didn't need him to be going at it and trying to get balls in the box and, and magic touches. What we needed was to be an extra body in the midfield or the defensive half of things and just try and keep West Brom at bay. And bringing on Justin allowed us to do that because, you know, we had we had one side almost shut down with the defensive picture of Faison and obviously Justin. Although, God knows what's going on with Maraska speaking because apparently he spoke to both the players and they both went in the same direction, didn't they? So... <laughs> you know, that aside, we got everything else right. I actually think he made enough substitutes because despite us sitting here saying mm, so-and-so didn't have a good game, so-and-so wasn't the best, but we, we did all right collectively, what would that have said to the players and how much more nervous would the fans have got, Chris, in my opinion, had he had, had Enzo gone, oh, you're not having a good game, I need to panic, I need to take you off. No, he had to let them see out a game. You need subs to warm up, you need to tactically tell them what to do. And for me, yes, Wayne, I, I've just seen you comment there. They did move for us with ease, but, and maybe if we get a chance to, I don't know if we will, I actually probably won't because I won't be able to do tomorrow. And I'll tell you why, Chris, afterwards. <coughs> but I'll tell you on the here why afterwards. But I'd like to discuss the change at the back that kind of influenced us maybe not having so much control in the middle of the park. That's probably why... But we also still gave the ball away when we had Pratt on. So it wasn't like one man, two man changed anything. I actually think he got his subs right. Um, and whilst we gave it up in the midfield, 
up until West Brom made it 2-1, West Brom outweighed us in that midfield, so it was always going to happen as well. It was always going to happen that they were going to control the middle of the park and we were going to have to pick them off and try and get in behind, which probably, you know, a lot of people were suggesting that the way the West Brom manager, you know, does does things, he was going to counter Leicester. <coughs> he was going to high press them and make, a, 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 you know, a Leicester and not allow us to pass the ball around. And maybe that's what encouraged Cody and Vestergaard and Hermanson on occasion playing balls over the top. Your thoughts, Dave, when, and I asked Kate this, when Daka came on, I I think he still think it should have been Cannon. Uh, he did actually seem to have a bit of fire in his belly, got a yellow card, and, and you know, he was holding off those two defenders. But, you know, all right, he didn't have <clears> long, <throat> really. But I was surprised at that. Yeah, me too. Um, although I imagine he put him on to shut them down at the back because he's got pace. Yeah, maybe that's the reason. But yeah, Cannon, what's he need? What's he need to do to get on the pitch? Exactly. And also uh, substitution-wise, I mean, it took at least eighty minutes to make a substitution when we were struggling. Um, I don't know what when was West Brom's goal was it? That sixty-five. Uh, minutes, minutes, <coughs> yeah, seventy-fifth minute. Okay, well, that should, and they'd made four subs by then, hadn't they? Yeah, they'd made all yeah. five, yeah. I think. Oh, no, they, yeah, yeah, they had made four because they were going to make yeah. fifth, and the goal scorer they kept yeah. on got goal, didn't they? So we leave it too late to do it. Um, I think indeed, I'm surprised he was still on at the end. Just um, coming on for Mavadidi on 87 minutes, sure. Ooh. I mean, what is that just wasting time? Not wasting, no, you know, wasting, you know yeah, I know what down. you mean, and everyone says that wasting a bit of time. But how does that work? Because he had time on. I mean, we had an extra minute and a half anyway for crying out loud. What was that about? Yeah, yeah I, what I is just the point think of putting somebody on at that team. And would you agree with me? I mean, I wanted Ricardo on and move Hamza up to midfield to do what he's brilliant at, which is to, um, you know. Cut out, you know, yeah. well, basically be that hard man in midfield. Yeah, it's interesting what Luke said about, was it you, Brad, that at least he's had a rest. <laughs> so yeah, there's no danger of him coming on and getting injured. So I kind of get that. But then these three points were more important than that. Um, so they should have done that. James Justin on 88, 89, 80, whatever minutes. You know. yeah, like yeah, I get the point. Yeah. But that should have happened a lot earlier. We were under the cosh. Um, yeah, the thing is, you want to have a fresh two. leg against a knackered player, don't you? And West Brom were bombing forward, bombing forward. And, and yeah, look, could have happened in the next few minutes. To be fair, we tried to get Pratt on for seven minutes, but West yeah, Brom just kept the ball yeah. and get out of play. So you've got to give a bit of credit to the opposition because they, they wouldn't have wanted Leicester to make changes. They would have wanted yeah. to keep, uh, you know, a, a, a tired Mavadidi out there who's not tracking back. They would have wanted to... Um, kept Jewsby Hall on because he keeps giving them the ball back and not get Pratt on, who, yeah. who had a brilliant substitute impact for me. Sly tackles, blocks, he was far better than Jewsby Hall was great for the 70 odd minutes he player. played, in all fairness. Yeah. And, and for me, I get what Dave's saying. It's not time wasting because because they had it on these days. That's why we had six minutes added on, although I still think that was excessive. I was thinking it was going to be a drama four or five, but six, well, nearly eight, as it turned out to be. Um, it was tactical. It was purely tactical. We're in the last knock into the game. Get someone who's got fresh legs, who can, you know, who can bomb forward and chase a useless ball just to keep it in West Brom's half, or can do, do his defensive duty, which Mavadidi just could not do anymore. He was absolutely no. ran. Well, I say ran, ran, ran out of energy. But, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't. But maybe he's one of them wingers, Dave. That just he only has a solid seventy minutes in him before, no matter. What his energy goes, or they want it's to change. It's a bit it like on. a Harvey Barnes, isn't he? When he I when he works. Chris, Chris, did I not say this a few shows ago? Why does Mavadidi get all the praise in the world, but we slated Harvey Barnes? And Dave's just backed me up with what he's just said. He's kind of like yeah. Harvey Barnes. Seventy minutes, you'll either get a good performance of him, or you'll be glad to see him get taken off because he's not offered anything. Problem yeah. yeah. you have, though, guys, um, and either of you coming on this one. But Fatou did not have a particularly brilliant game. There was nothing that I saw about anything coming down our right side. We were just attacking, attacking, attacking on the left. He had that one moment 
what I mean, he put that cross, it was all Brighton esque, and it, he put that cross in and said, Somebody get on the end of this. And Vardy went, I will. Uh, and that's what you, you know, and yet, you know, probably for 80 odd of the minutes of the game, he was useless. Yeah, and for me, sorry, Dev, I'll jump in first because I, I take the longest to answer. You give about four words, so Chris will be relieved when you answer. Uh, for me, I think it was purely based on the balance of the game. I think if Leicester had been in control, 3-0 up maybe, he most likely does take him off and you get your wish and get Ricardo on. I really do think that happens. I think, you know, that maybe switches around the roles they have. Ricardo maybe even plays right wing because he's played that up to Brendan before, does it well when we've had him like that. So that may have happened, Chris. But like you said, when the game called for it, he obviously felt that West Brom were more of a threat down that left-hand side or their right-hand side, I guess, if you look at it from their perspective, than they were on their left-hand side. So the defensive change needed to be there for him. And one thing you do get with Fatawu is for some reason, despite the season he's having, opposition players leave him in space. So the one thing you can do, which we, we showed today we're capable of doing, is if it's a mad scramble... Cody knows he can launch it down to the right hand side and it's going to drop on, on a on a pence for, for Fatwu and he'll hold the ball up. And and maybe that's the reason because I, I agree with you, Chris. On another day, I think Fatwu would have came off. Maybe even early in the season, even with the game how it's going, he may have come off. I think given the situation, Enzo, to be fair to him, when I've got to take one of yours off, they're getting down the right more than they are the left because of Chowdhury, recovery rate and, you know, and Cody on that side, I'm going to make the decision to take Mavadidi off, kind of like that. I don't know about hey, you, Dave, but... Your thoughts? Yeah, but I think with um, somebody like Fatou, he can have one good moment and it's a goal. Mm. Um, Mavadidi's not showed that for a few games now uh, because he's so predictable. At least this time, when Vardy should have possibly scored... Um, he did get a crossing with his left foot. I've not seen that happen for a while. So that was good. It means he's just, he's been told you've got to go both ways whilst the defenders will know what you're doing, which yeah. seems pretty logical to us. But to a young kid like him, it's probably not. Uh, I was going to ask the question. Um, obviously, with the game coming up on Tuesday, do we see changes? And Terry's asked it here, Dave. Um, who starts Tuesday, Ricardo or Hamza? Normally, we'd be saying Ricardo, Ricardo all day long, but after that mm. performance, I'd be tempted to put with? both of them in. You know, I mean, I, I don't think the two midfielders are worth their place at the moment. Um, Harry Winks looks like he's he's lost the art to push the ball through. Um, he's looking to play these five or six passes within six foot to get his stats up. But they don't look as if they're very decisive. And Hamza's at least he'll break down that midfield with um, backup from Ricky. So that's what I mean. <coughs> uh, John says here that Barnes was much better than Mavadidi. Mm, funny mm. that because the first on the day it was they're a... both the same. They're both brilliant. Yeah, for me, it's funny how people are now saying that because for about 30 odd games in the season, I'm sure a lot of you were saying this is miles better than Barnes because at least he's not. It know. was, yeah, it was, wasn't it? And he used to trap back, which he don't now. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I don't so. know why. Right, um, Dave, uh, we'll all slowly Chris. start to wind this up now. Indeed, you. <coughs> Um, your rating and your man of the match? I think, despite the euphoria of winning and everything else, I think I go for a six for the team. I think if we'd have pushed and got that uh, third goal and mm. closed them, and we haven't given away so many chances, I think I might have done a seven, but it we won, which is the most important thing. Yeah. As we say. Uh, I think, <laughs> yeah, I'm torn between uh, Mads and uh, Chowdhury, but I think Chowdhury for those clearances, just mm -hmm. alone, where he was, where he put himself. I know he, his fault was one of them, but 
he got back and he recovered. Uh, Am I missing him. something here, Dave, with, with Mabs? He made one good save, but then he didn't he stopped it, but he went back out and then Hamza had to help him out on the line for Hamza's second goal line clearance. Did Mad I mean he didn't particularly do anything wrong, but did he do anything well, that to be man of the match? Well he did I don't think so. He did what a goalkeeper should do. That's the problem. It's like a striker scoring goals. But strikers get more credit than goalkeepers, unless, you know, they're sensational saves. So, yeah, he did his job. He did it well. He got close on one occasion to giving the ball away, I think. But that was a bad back pass anyway from Woot. Um, but he, he was solid, I thought. And when he needed to kick it long, he did. Yeah. Um, Brad, your rating and your man of the match. See, the thing is, we couldn't all sit here and go, oh, well, that wasn't actually very Leicester-esque, and we're a bit nervy. I think today we forgot who we were playing. We, we were playing a West Brom side that, minus the hiccup against Sunderland, have been very good throughout this season. And you know what, Chris, maybe in another season with a little bit more consistency from them, um, they would actually still fancy the chances to catch up to, to those above them. Um, a lot of people uh, in the Prediction League, a lot of people I spoke to, a lot of people, General Leicester fans, we're going to lose. We're going to draw. I'm, I'm saying a draw because I'm a Leicester fan, but I'm dreading it. And probably for 20 minutes, Leicester would have a team on top, and that was it. But you have to win games by any manner. And I'm actually impressed with the way they went about it. You could say West Brom could have scored a half four, they didn't. That's the, you know, the, the goal XG, actually, if you want to be a statistician, wasn't that much between the two sides. It was 2 point something versus 2.67 or something for West Excuse Brom. Excuse me, Brad, are you quoting stats there? I know, because I like to use them to piss people <laughs> off. Excuse me, Dave, you're my witness. Brad yeah. was supposed to clip that. I know, Brad, yeah, yeah, you can use it. I thought it was just a nice one. stats when they benefit me as, as they work. And I'm <laughs> actually, I'm going to look at the occasion that, after all the weeks of getting away with it, Leicester couldn't keep getting away with it. They couldn't keep asking Ipswich and Leeds to bottle it. They needed to put the cement in their place. They needed to get to the game in hand against Southampton with the impetus. <laughs> Sorry, did you ask him for a score at a 10 or something? Or I'm, doing a new, I'm doing a new day. I'm being a politician. <laughs> Screw you, Dave. You take 10 hours. I'm taking 10 hours to get to the point. At least I'll answer it. Given that fact... Can I, say, I offered to come on the show on, on Friday and Brad said... <laughs> No, I've got Dave on. We always go about an hour and a half anyway, just the two of us. Yeah, okay. Granted, I take up an hour and 27 minutes of them and I let Dave speak sometimes, but... It's kind of you. I've got, I'm getting... Dave, and well, you've ruined my ending as well. I was just bringing no, it back No, I haven't. You're still magnificent. No, I, I was bringing it close awesome. to an end. I was bringing it back round to give okay. Chris exactly what he asked in the first place, which wasn't a mild description. Chris, team rating, I'm going to give I'm them... Sorry. Sorry, I was reading my book then. Have you oh, sorry, how many pages did you get through, mate? How many pages? I was on page 20. By Hello? The yeah, it's okay. Brad's talking. Don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> 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 Look, we, this is why we're Paul and Barry chuckle. He gives a short answer. I give the long answer. So I do. I'm going for a, a, a seven out of ten. And my man of the match, I can't believe there's even debate about it. It's Hamza Chowdhury. Two goal-defining moments um, that, that, that helped win us the game and keep us in front of pivotal points. It's he was yeah. by far and away the best player on the pitch. He stood out like a sore thumb. Yes, uh, Matthias. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm Brazilian. I live in Brazil. I follow Leicester here. Uh, greetings, and to you as well. Apparently, we've had some. Um, uh, scouts over in Brazil. Uh, I don't know why, because we've got a tra <laughs> an embargo on our thing, but we are looking at Brazilians. Let's hope it was better than the one only other Brazilian we had at the club, um, Mr. Tete. Um, so Brad has gone for seven and Hamza. Guess what? I've gone for seven and Hamza. Um, oh. I was between six and seven, but seven was my original. Uh, and I think basically just because, yes, we got the win, uh, yeah, it wasn't the, it wasn't the best win. It wasn't a fantastic performance. We were holding on at times. We were bloody lucky, but we won. We won. Uh, so, 
did Winks get it off? Um, did Winks get it off? That's just that's the that's just leave it at that, shall we? That no, would explain a lot, get, wouldn't it? Did Winks get chosen as it always does? But and I know Brad's looking and I haven't got it in the green room yet. And I'll make it. I'm like, ah, no, don't want to look. <laughs> uh, this is what Alan, who was at the match, has gone for. Wow, thank God for that. I thought I was going to have to start right with him if he didn't go with the same man in the match. I just, yeah, I knew that Alan always speaks sense. Yeah, and I managed to get the picture right as well. But then I knew I'd have time because Brad was talking. So <laughs> all weekend, mate. You got all weekend. I suppose you'd make dinner. <laughs> Guys, look, I think we're going to end it there. Let's take advantage of the fact that we had the early kickoff. Um, yeah. Let's just have a look uh, before you go if anything is happening in the three o'clock. Southampton so are winning at Cardiff. Yeah. yeah, I don't care about that at the end of the day. Leeds, matter, Leeds, Leeds. Two more wins. Two more wins, boys. That's all we need. Yeah. Either that so, or Leeds can bottle it. Southampton, actually, though, are now on equal points with Leeds. Ooh, oh, Leeds. Dear. Watch it. But they have got a better goal difference, Leeds. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, the pressure. If, if Southampton win, very quickly, this is the last question. If Southampton win, that puts a hell of a lot of pressure on Leeds, doesn't it, Dave? Yeah, it does. But like us, they've got to turn it round. So, Brad, would you agree? Well, yeah, of course it is. And I've been saying that maybe Leeds are looking at the wrong side and looking so looking forward need to be looking over the shoulder. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be so weird, isn't it, Chris? Because you can imagine now, and I bet Leeds fans can't believe they're gonna say this, and they might not admit it out loud, but they'll be looking at Leicester on a Tuesday night, but regardless of their result, going. Tonight, I'm a Leicester fan because if Southampton yeah. do win that game against us, okay, it'll be disappointing from our perspective, but we'll, we'll still be top of the league. Yeah, Leeds will not want Southampton catching. Yeah, guys, stay in the chat if you want to ask me anything. I think Brad, you said you wanted to, so we'll have a chat after. Thanks very much to both of you. Yeah, um, you're welcome. Nice to see you guys. And I will see you on Monday night, Dave, with the beautiful Kate. Yes, seven thirty. Because you know you always well, wait for a lady. I'm going to say, well worth waiting for. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I'll try and get her home. Uh, her home early. All right. If you could do, please. Yes, she can't be doing it with late nights. All right, guys. See you. See, see you, on boys. Be good. Take Cheers, care. Brad. Cheers, yeah. Mate. See you, Dave. I just quickly keep me in, uh, Chris, because yeah, I get I'll the chance to do a shameless me. plug. This is what okay. I wanted to talk about, so I can go. Join me tomorrow. I haven't, I had to double check now and I have just checked. Join me tomorrow on LTID TV2 if you want all things Leicester City women's uh, going on. Starting at one o'clock, so knowing me about five past one, because Arsenal women take on Leicester City women in the WSL after their heartache in the semi finals. Can Leicester get back to winning ways um, against Tottenham's bitter rivals? Arsenal League. Last time out was a bit of a hefty 5 2 defeat, but they go 2 0 up in that game. It is away. It is a two o'clock kickoff. I will be doing the watch along for it on LTID TV 2. So go and check that out. And also, as you heard, there will be a quiz getting organised for Dave to go on to be the second contestant of that. So thanks for having me on, Chris. Sorry to kind of do the plug no, down. No, no, no. I, I, in fact, I was all going to ask you behind the scenes. So I'll do the art. Do you want me to do the artwork for you? Yeah, yeah, if you want mine, yeah. mate, that'd be that'd be That's fantastic. Fine, really. Just get that done. All right, mate. Um, good luck tomorrow. Leicester women need it. We're down to third from bottom. Um, back to where we probably normally expected to be after our heights of a semi-final and getting up to, to, to first at one point in the women's league. But look, it's all about the men today. And uh, uh Wolves is thanking his guts. I hope your guts are all right, Wolves. Um, <laughs> he said thanks, guts. Uh, but um, we will see you all uh, Well, you'll see Brad tomorrow at 1 o'clock You'll see me tomorrow at 7 When I have got the gentleman With the multicoloured Southampton shirt on um, Jack from Match Day Vlogs will be coming on And he will be giving us uh, his views On the Southampton Leicester match that comes up 
But until that time, thank you, Ed. Thank you, everybody that's been listening via YouTube podcast. And it's everybody that's been watching and chatting in the chat. Uh, and until tomorrow, it's good night from me. And it's good night from him. Good night, guys. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. These videos are tremendous. You'd better like them too, or I'll be back. The TalkSport Fan Network is the ultimate on-demand destination for the UK's best fan-led football podcasts. Including Leicester Till I Die, independent analysis and reaction for the Foxes Faithful. The TalkSport Fan Network. Unbeatable club-dedicated content created by the fans for the fans. Follow the podcast on the TalkSport Fan Network.